check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hello, hello, Jimmy. Thank you for the sub, Daniel. Welcome in. What's up, boys? Happy Thursday. Get some uh, game sound on here. I turn it off when I'm not on stream because I don't want to hear it playing in the background. Let me get a handle on this. Yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> What's up, Lou? How you guys doing? <sighs> Miller time. All the boys are here. Uh, I can almost guarantee you there'll be no um, tequila shots today. <laughs> Secured the Hardy's bag. What's in the Hardy's bag? Oh. I, for the first time since I broke my wrist, um, made four over easy eggs. I was able to flip them in the skillet left-handed. Usually I uh, can only do that with any proficiency right-handed and I can't do that with the cast on because you need the little wrist flip, right? So at least I didn't flip the eggs onto the floor. So the wife was happy. So something other than uh, oatmeal and uh, yeah, other than oatmeal and uh, oat oat pancakes. But yeah, I'm actually using the mouse left-handed pretty easy. I just turn it sideways, so I still use my index finger on the left mouse button. It's pretty funny. Brushing the teeth lefties sucks, man. I, I have jammed my gums. It's not fun. I have my teeth cleaning coming up in October. I can't wait for that. <laughs> yeah. So let's get into this recruiting board because um, I keep that off stream because it takes too damn long. Um, if I was splitting up the season over three or four um different streams we would do the entire board but i want to waste two hours doing a board and then stream for seven hours doing gameplay so yeah it does jimmy those dude wipes work though man um so oklahoma state we need a quarterback because we have a senior graduating that's the dumbass we had last year this is the freshman we just recruited but we're going to redshirt him so we need one more so next year we'll have freshman, junior, sophomore, 
and then we'll redshirt a freshman. Need two halfbacks because we have two graduating and we have a junior JUCO that we added last year, so we need some depth. Uh, don't need a fullback yet. Wide receiver, we have two graduating, two juniors, so we're going to go after three wide receivers, one tight end to replace this guy, um, one tackle, one center, guards are good. We have juniors and freshmen, I'm sorry, freshmen and sophomores, so we're fine. So we're just going to uh, go light on O-line this year. Need one D-tackle to replace him. Don't need ends at all. Need two outsides because we have a senior graduating here. And we have a junior there that'll be a senior next year. Uh, need two middles because we have a senior and two other juniors, so we need to get some depth there. And we need a strong safety because we have a junior here. You can see we went from having no corners to having a shit ton of corners. So we're good at corners for a while. So we, uh, what do we have? 11 seniors. Only 11 seniors, 12 juniors. So we're only going after 15 this year. We're going to lower that down from 17, 18 down to 15. So we'll have more points to spend and, and attack some of these guys. So... That's where we're at um, on the board then. Let's just do it by position rank. So we've got this guy we're slowly kind of gaining, but I don't have points to spend on him right now because we're first on this one. We're first on this one. You can see we've offered these guys. We didn't offer him, but we've offered these two guys. So I could probably take these points away and give it here. Let me look at him. I haven't looked in a couple of days. He's 88 throw power. He's 86. Man, let me take 100 away and give it to the top guy. All right. Hey, so Lou, I won another natty with uh, Tubby Fats. First year at Cincinnati. So, uh, now we moved on to Vanderbilt, so that should be interesting. First game of the season with Vanderbilt against Alabama, so. <laughs> All right, so we need two running backs. This guy was just added to the board. This guy was just added to the board. And this guy, he's just a placeholder for points. Um, wide receiver, we need three guys. We're very close on this 80. We're very close on the 74. We're number one on the 72 and number one on the 68, but we need three of them. Tight end, we need one. We just found a 78 and threw them on the board. We got this 73 that we're maxing out for right now. If we, if we fall behind, we'll just throw all these points on this Nate Ernst dude. Um, we need a tackle. It didn't find any worth of shit, so we're gonna have to move a guard. So if we get we need one tackle, one center. So we only need two offensive linemen. So this guy is going to get a bunch of points right away. And this guy is going to get a bunch of points right away. Um, D-tackle, we just need one. So we're first. We'll just take whichever one of these guys we get to commit first. Outsides, we got two insta commits. So that takes care of that. We need two middles. So we're going hard after Joe Brown. But this guy was just added to the board. And... So we, we threw extra points on these guys to try and move up their board. Um, and then we need a strong safety. And we're number one on his board, and we're maxing him out to try and keep those other teams away from us. And this guy's just a backup option. And then this athlete, I believe, is a wide receiver. No. What is he? It's, oh. I think this guy's an offensive lineman. So that's why we put them on there. We still have 13 guys we have an offer. We do have insta commit now. So. so as soon as we get to number one, we'll start throwing points on these guys or throw offers on these guys. We got a ways to go on some of them. It's all these new guys I just added to the board. So, so that's where we stand. Yeah, we need a tight. He's not, he's too slow. He's 71 speed. He's either a DN or an offensive lineman. And if you can play O-line, I'll put him on O-line. 
so we did get these two outsides so that's that's good takes care of two uh, hard positions so now defense is just D tackle middles and safety so offensive players are mostly skill guys so we should be able to find some low lock so and let's uh, remind what we did last season <clears throat> first year at Oklahoma State we went eight and five we beat Alabama remember we beat Alabama Oklahoma and Texas down the stretch yeah I don't know with that size I think he had over 600 bench so I'm sorry 600 squat 600 squat we can find him I'll go find him by athlete here let's go look I'll show you what I saw in him <clears throat> I think he was in a spark too. Yeah, right here. 620 squat, 460 bench, 4840. This guy is either a D tackle or he's a uh, offensive lineman. 66262. So I think he's an offensive lineman. So if you go to athlete and sort by by squat, you'll get the uh, guys that are defensive linemen, offensive linemen. He'll probably be rated at both. So, um, let's see. The game says we are an 86 overall with a 90 offense and an 82 defense. So we are not far away from competing for the conference championship. If we don't compete this year, we definitely will next year. It says we're the 58th best team. And these three numbers are going to go up. These three numbers will go up as we add players this year. You know how that thing works. So let's get in here. Oh, let's look at our schedule because... Um, yeah, Oklahoma State was a one-star when we took over. So uh, we go to Louisville, play UTSA, play Cincinnati, play Nebraska, play West Virginia, all these home games in a row. Go to BYU, they're in our conference. We added Nebraska and BYU to the Big 12. Um, go to Iowa State, home for Texas, at TCU, home for Texas Tech, at Oklahoma, at Baylor. So that's our schedule. So we bumped up our schedule to a, a B plus, I think it is. We have a 92 offense, so. So we're pretty equal to Louisville. So let's get in here and get this game going. And yeah, we're all red. That looks pretty tight. I like that look. All right, we're gonna go black. Where's the one that has the that one with the star in the helmet. It's going to give us orange pants. I'm sorry, orange shoes. Yeah, we'll go with that one. All right, still running the air raid offense. So we only have, uh, well, we do have a couple of good, you know, we could always switch to a spread. We've, we don't have a ton of wide receivers. We have good running backs, tight ends, fullbacks. So we could run the spread. Our problem is our quarterback. The quarterback that we have starting, the senior, is not a spread. I think he's got like 70 speed or 60 speed. But the guy that we just got last season that we're redshirting is definitely a spread quarterback. So we might change playbooks next year. Or if the uh, starter gets hurt and is going to miss a lot of weeks, we'll just peel the red shirt off the freshman and switch playbooks in the middle of the season. <clears throat> so... Hey, Daniel, we run this air raid offense, and I, you know how I like to have these scrambling fast quarterbacks, and it really doesn't work with that playbook because they take off and run too much instead of throwing the ball. Of course, it's a rain game. Um, so we may end up going more towards balanced and pocket passing quarterbacks with this playbook so that they stay in the uh, pocket and throw more. They seem to be a little more successful. So it's, it's different recruiting slower quarterbacks that have better arms. So... Yeah, they scramble right into the back of their offensive lineman and get sacked. They trip themselves. It's really annoying. It's really annoying. 
and they scramble at the wrong time. Like we need to pass the ball and they just take off and run and gain like two yards. I'm like, no, we need 15 yards. Why are you running? It's really, really annoying. Some of my streams are just me bitching at my quarterback because he's running too much. <laughs> I know. I'm tired of the rain. I'm absolutely ex it's exhausting. USN, welcome in, man. How you doing? You have not missed anything. We are uh, getting into our first game of the season. So let's, let, let's see what the Sim does with this team this year. We have a 92 offense, so... All right, field goal. At least we got points. Didn't turn the ball over. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Touchdown. There we go. And they answer right back. All right, defense, you got to play. You got to show up today, man. All right, let's run a little bit of action here ourselves because uh, I want to see what this team looks like. Let's go empty stick. Yep. Another long Thursday. Going to be here for six hours at least, so buckle up. Yeah, I'm, I was uh, playing games offline last night, testing my, uh, my, my wrist and how much I can tolerate. And uh, as you saw last stream, I played the entire offensive... Uh, game against Texas Tech um, but I can't play defense still we'll see the cast comes off Tuesday so we'll see how much flexibility I have um, once this hard cast comes off and I get the uh, the brace that you can put on and take off so highly doubt there's any uh, nice throw highly doubt there's any tequila shots today with this team we're about a, a year away from doing that but you never know So yesterday, I spent the entire day. I wasn't on Twitch much yesterday at all. I uh, had to go to PT at 9.30 as normal. And they stepped up the intensity and, and used more weights on certain things and stuff. I feel it today, but it doesn't feel bad. It just feels like you know regular muscle soreness. Um, and then after I got done with that, I had to go to the bank and deposit a couple of grand. And most of that's from our fantasy football league. And carrying cash around for most of the month waiting for somebody to send me a check and had lunch and then I went to the DMV to get my wife's car get the plates transferred to the new car from the one that got uh, that was totaled and the dealership took out too much money in taxes by like an extra two thousand dollars so I had to contact them yesterday and tell them to cut a new check and they're just going to take the extra two grand and apply it towards the uh, the loan, which is good. And uh, so I have to go back to the DMV tomorrow after they get this check from uh, FedEx. He got blasted. So yesterday was one of those drive around all damn day, wasting time. Luckily, I was like second in line at the DMV when I got there, so I didn't have to uh, sit there for three hours. I took a book and my phone. I'm like, I'm going to be here all damn day. You know how that works. But I, wa I walked in right after lunch, and I was only the... Yeah, I would have thrown that away, too. That guy was in his face. I was only the second person in line, so that, that worked. We'll see how it is tomorrow. All right, let's try something different. Need 12 yards, right? Let's try this cross. <sighs> anyway. You guys have any plans for the weekend? I'm uh, have a nice, quiet one. One of one of my our, our middle. Where are we at? Middle grandchild is uh, gonna come spend the night Friday. Yeah, let's kick this. 
little too far away to go fourth and four. I'll take the points, make it a one point game. It's supposed to rain here all weekend. I'm glad that it happened uh, this coming weekend and last, because last last weekend we got to go to uh, a number one team lost to Purdue. Way to go, Georgia! Typical Georgia, they like shit in a big game. Hitting up the lakes. Oh, that sounds fun. I haven't fished in so long. I used to go fishing with my grandfather all the time when I was a kid, and when I would uh, go visit my dad in Colorado in the summertime, uh, in junior high and high school, we'd uh, we'd go fishing up at Aspen. Manny Jones with a rate of a four. Hey, welcome in. Thank you. Appreciate that. Welcome in. Welcome in. Let's go offense. There we go. Six point lead. You stream in NCAA. Who who's your school? Oh, they made the field goal. How'd your stream go? Second half. We're doing uh and they missed another field goal. We're doing sim because I have a broken wrist, but hopefully uh doing temple. Good, good. Hopefully in uh another few weeks here we'll get back to full time gameplay. All right, let's try and run the ball. And uh, as Hank Stram said, matriculate the ball down the, down the field. Aspen. <laughs> yeah, there was a lake that my dad found that we used to go to. And there was a, a beaver dam on the lake. And I have it really, I had, I don't have it anymore. I had like a four foot tall branch that had all these uh, teeth marks from the beaver from chewing off the bark. Um, well, yeah, this is American flag, but yeah, you got Cardinals. Ooh. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of glad that we uh, lost that game last night to get that win streak um, over with and done so that we're not stressing about that once we're in the playoffs because uh, I don't want that to be a, a thing to worry about during the playoffs. Oh, we got the streak going. We got to make sure we keep it going now. So, hit him now. There you go. That's our money play right there. That play is open. One of those two guys on the uh, the crossing routes is open almost every time. Let's try the switch flood. Here we have sounds working too. Turn it up. There we go. All right, second and four, we can run. There we go, Jimmy. Got this one, too, for EA. A double-crossing cocksucker. That's EA's. That's the sound command for EA right there. <laughs> I showed that to uh, Sausage Biscuit. I had to uh, whisper that the link that I got that sound command from too. He was laughing his ass off. Let's go. Throw it. Cut up. There we go. There we go. No fumbles. Holy shit! That is that is rough. I might have to. I would have to uh, quick sim out of that game. That's. I would be. I'd be raging right there. Yeah, that lake in Aspen is really cool. You had to meander down the hill, and it's. It's just there was a like a cabin someplace where people stayed up, like a big cabin, not a small one, up on the hill overlooking it, and we would just walk around the outside hunting, or hunting, fishing for salmon. Um. Drinking beer all day it was awesome. Did not recruit the class. Uh, okay, I see what you're doing. Yeah, I can understand why you're down 42 nothing now. Let's try this again. Cancel. Hot route. X. Slant go yeah we're gonna go for this one 
<laughs> just reached halftime. Yeah, you're going to have trouble not getting fired in that one. That's that's the problem with those. Just barely made it. All right, that's fine. What's our offensive line look like? So we have a 95 center. 79 left tackle, 73 left guard, 79 right guard, 79 right tackle. Yeah, we did that with ULM. I had Smooth Talker as the uh, head coach. And he got fired after we got the number one class or number three class, whatever it was, with the 2-10 and ten team. He got fired, so we brought in his brother, Shit Talker, and Shit Talker got credit for winning the Natty. Smooth Talker moved on. I think he was a coordinator at Florida State. It was pretty funny. I wish he could just... I haven't figured out a way to just delete those guys or send them off to uh, be owned by the computer. All right, second and goal. Let's try this one. And let's make him stay in and block. It's alright. He's throwing it at the Cardinal in the, in the back there. That's fine. <laughs> he did. <laughs> alright, let's try this one. That's all right. We'll take the field goal. We got time, even if they march down the field and score. We need to get the uh, the kickers some experience because this guy's a, a true freshman. So we'll take all the extra points we can get out of him for uh, making field goals. So just need to play defense. There we go. Yeah, what we need to do is have the offensive line do well so we can uh, run and eat this clock. I'll take another field goal here to go up nine. I just want to eat clock. In fact, I'm going to turn on conservative carry and uh, chew clock here in a minute. I'll turn on conservative carry right now. Oh man, franchise! I, I had 11 drops in one game when I did a uh, a uh, I did an Alabama series where I cut everybody and brought in true freshmen, a 25 man class of true freshmen, and seven seven drops in one game. No, maybe it was a I don't know. I'm losing. I can't remember now. There was like. Maybe one guy had seven. I had just a ridiculous amount of drops. I was so mad. I was throwing my controller. My wife's like, why do you play this game if you're just going to yell and complain? And I'm like, you don't understand. Catch it. Wrong guy. Underthrew it. Get him out of bounds. There we go. It's terrible. Fifty-eight yard touchdown. All right, three forty. Let's see what we can do. We missed a two-point conversion, so we're up five with two sixteen to go. We'll do one play at a time. Five-yard penalty. Minus four. Second and nine. Third and six. Fourth and six. They get thirteen. They get twenty. They get thirteen. God. All right, boys. Time to blitz. We actually want them to score fast if they're going to score. Push him. <clears throat> Surprised they're not calling timeout. Here we go. What do their stats look like? Let me check that first. Twenty-one of thirty-one. Yeah, we got to worry about both here. Got to worry about both. <clears throat> I 
Let's bring the uh, strong safety blitz on this. Maybe they'll hand off and run right into the blitz. Hey, if they want to keep calling timeout, that's fine. Saves us from using timeouts. I'm calling timeout now. I want to make sure I have a little bit of time left here. Kind of figured they were going to score, but I didn't want them to burn off the entire clock on me, so. Hey, Daniel, we had a uh, five-overtime game against Texas State last year. I ended up doing a double shot after we won that game in the fifth overtime. So hopefully we don't have that same. All right, so field goal sends us to overtime. We got 44 seconds. Yeah, five overtimes. All right, get on the ball. Hurry up, on the ball. Just need a field goal. On the ball. Still got two timeouts, kind of saving that. Oh, better than a sack. Saves us time out. Now I can uh, change up the formation. Kind of got stuck in a formation I didn't like. Let's see. I'm keeping the halfback in the block this time just in case. Oh, he picked it. He throws it in an area with six red jerseys. Who else was open on that play? So he throws it at this guy here. Instead of that guy. Or this guy. Single coverage over here. Eighteen seconds left. Sixteen seconds left. Game over. Well, fourth and fifteen. They're not even gonna punt. They're stupid if they punt this ball. <clears throat> there we go. That's what I thought. All right. Well, that's the way it goes. We'll recover. We did this last year. We started three and four last year and ended up eight and five. So maybe this is just a team that uh, takes half the season to wake up. We'll see. If I'm going to lose a game, I'd rather lose a non-conference game at this point. So that's all right. I think next year is really our year. We're going to make a big jump next year. So we went from a 77 to an 86. So we're probably going to be in the mid 90s next year. Go check these stats. 31 of 52. We had a game last season, Daniel. The guy threw the ball 75 times.
this is what you get when you play sim and you don't get to call the offense, man. I mean, I can call the plays, but I have no control over who they throw to and stuff, so. 100% on getting the right guys into your system. Uh, we should be able to handle UTSA. I mean, Louisville was exact, pretty much the exact same ratings as us, so that was an even game. Came down to a field goal. If we could have got a touchdown instead of one of those field goals earlier, we would have won the game. Yeah, that's the way it goes. So UTSA, I forget. I think we have Nebraska after that. I play so many different dynasties. I have offline ones. I forget what the schedule is, what my recruiting classes are. I got to go in and look at them all the time. So my recommendation is uh, if you're riding in a car, don't hold on to the, what I call Jesus bars, the little handle up there by the, by the window. Don't hang on to that if you're uh, going to get in a wreck because that's why I broke my wrist because the airbag on the side hit my wrist and broke it. So hold the, uh, the door handle or just keep your hands on your knees or whatever, but uh, definitely don't hold the handle because that's how I broke my fucking wrist. So. All right, let's go in here and finish scouting the guys we didn't have points to scout so we can see uh, what they are. I thought we didn't, sc I thought we didn't scout everybody. Maybe it's a different one. I might be getting confused with my Vanderbilt one. All right. All right, so we maxed out on him. We lost ground. Probably this is going to be a guy that goes to the end of the season. Yeah, I definitely. If I'd have broke my leg, because I already have uh, the high ankle frac high ankle sprain, if I'd have just broken that, then I'd have been in a boot and it would have been no big deal. All right, so we have a chance to get this linebacker of fighting Iowa and Missouri. <clears throat> we need, let me look at my spreadsheet again. We need two middles. Duh. We have more points to put on this guy. We will just kind of wait and see. We need one D tackle. We're first there. First there. What's the difference in these guys? He's more finesse move. More block shedding. Better tackle, hit power. Speed is lower. Strength is lower. We only need one. Holding off Boston College. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take these points away because we're still gonna gain ground on these guys and add them to here. We'll take it up to 500. All right, we need a center and a tackle. Leave him on the board for now. Let's give this guy 400. And center, Texas hasn't offered, but they probably will. Let's give it to this guy to play center. It's gonna give us a walk on if we don't get a real center, but I don't care, we'll just cut him. And this is that guy that's also an offensive lineman, so Maybe I back this off a little bit. Tight end, gaining ground. We'll just leave him on there for now, see where we go. This wide receiver, we just got jumped by them. Good there, we need three wide receivers. And we need two halfbacks. 
And we need one quarterback. All right, so we're not getting pressed in Washington. So let's uh, bump him up to 200 for now. That's what we're going to go with for the moment. We'll see how it goes after another week or two. Maybe we'll have some better uh, jumps on the board here once we uh, get a win under our belt. Here, while that updates, I'll let you look at the depth chart again. So, just need one to replace him. Need two to replace those guys. Need three to replace these two seniors and one of those juniors. We don't have a lot of depth at wide receiver. Offensive line, we only need to replace the seniors. Replace the senior, replace the senior, replace the senior. We are deep at corner. At, we just need a strong safety to a red shirt after this guy becomes a senior. So we're, we're good on secondary for a couple of years. So... Uh, Get in here and pound UTSA. Let's wear the throwbacks. All right, game two. Hey man, we're 42 minutes in and we've already got one game done and gonna get another one done. This will be the first time we've gotten two games done in the first hour of the stream. That'll that'll make this go a little faster. Usually I waste the whole first, first hour uh, dealing with recruiting and setting up everything and uh, we don't even get into real gameplay. Yeah, franchise, I thought about that. I was like, man, I wish that had broke my ankle. Just make that a real break and could have been in a boot and been done with it. Let's go. Anybody hurt? Hopefully nobody got hurt last game. That's good. Wow, they already have a tackle out seven weeks and a quarterback three weeks. And there's no rain. Yay! Yeah, I'm just glad no one died. Put it that way. <laughs> Yeah, if, no, if uh, someone other than me had died in that wreck, I'd probably be in. <clears throat> I would probably be in a uh, in a jail in in Kentucky right now because I'd have capped that motherfucker. All right, let's go, Sim. There we go. Come on, defense. That works. Start out near midfield. And piss it away. Hey, we got a safety. That's good. And then punt it back. Yeah, it would have been on news because it would have been right in the middle of the highway. <laughs> oh, man. Fourth and one. We didn't get it. Let's get in here. See if we can run on these guys. Get outside. Hit your block. There you go. One yard. All that for one yard. It's terrible. Apparently running that play to the uh, short side of the field is better. Because um, your offensive linemen don't have as far to run out to go get those guys on the outside. It's uh, sidelines closer.
See if this guy at the bottom of the screen can get open. He's on press and he's going deep. They're rolling that guy over. Middle of the field's open. Don't run. There's our 60 uh, speed liquored up quarterback running. We'll go stick a nod for Jimmy. Snap it. There we go. I know. He might have drank some before the game. I got to go check my bottle and make sure I'm uh, not missing some uh, couple of fingers worth here. We're gonna go. We're gonna go four verts, and then we're gonna audible. And he throws a fucking pick. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely liquored up. He threw it right to the guy. He was not even close to being open. <laughs> not even close to being open. God damn. Yeah, Lou, I was, I, I literally, I'll pause this for a second. I literally looked over. My wife was okay. She was like shook. She was just shooken up. She wasn't hurt. She was just sitting there staring out the window like, what the fuck just happened? I had to reach over and push the button to turn the car off. And I looked at my daughter and she's, she's moving. Nobody's bleeding. They're both alive. And I look up the road. I see he stopped and he hopped out and he fell down twice on this, on the grass. And he's trying to you know, run back this way. And I know, I look at my wrist and I know it's broken because it's swelled up and it's numb. So I got to get out using the opposite hand and I'm climbing out. I don't have my glasses. They got knocked off. I don't have my phone. It flew across the car. So I just walk. I didn't run. I just walked up the highway. The middle of the highway is a two lane highway. So it's not like an interstate, but I walked up there as fast as I could without running and get up there. And I met him, I don't know, maybe 10 yards this side of his truck. And I was just like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Uh, and as I've said many times, he didn't say, are you okay? Is anybody hurt? Do you need help? It's like, you were trying to pass in a no passing zone. That was the first words out of his mouth. So he knew what we were doing and he did it on purpose. So yeah. Um, unfortunately, Kentucky's a no fault state and we didn't hit him. My wife did a good enough job controlling the car that we didn't swerve over and hit him, which is actually a bad thing for us because then there would have been damage on his car because then there would have been proof there was a collision and something happened. Um, and they would have tried to blame it on my wife. But since there was no collision, the, the police didn't talk to anybody and they just blamed it on her losing control. Um, in fact, we're still having trouble getting the police report from them. My lawyer has tried multiple times and they won't send us the police report. And this is like seven, six weeks later, right? Seven weeks later. So anyway, so if we, we, uh, we need to get his logs and his driving record and all that other stuff. Um, but if it goes to court and it actually goes to trial, we'll have to go back there and go to trial and go on the stand and testify and stuff. And my orthopedic will have to testify. That'll cost us 10 grand. And we'll have to hire an accident reconstruction um, expert, and that'll cost another ten grand. But anyway, so uh, whatever we uh, whatever we win, the lawyer will get a third of. So we just need to. Uh, it's going to take a while. It's not going to happen anytime soon. If he says it's not worth it, it's not going to be. It's not going to be uh, worth the hassle right now. They're not going to be able to prove whatever. And we already knew that when we talked to him. He said that was a possibility. Then then we'll just have to deal with it. I just paid $2,500 in medical bills yesterday between MRIs, x-rays, and ambulance visits. So my daughter and I drove to the, to the hospital in the same ambulance, and they charged us $720 each for the same ambulance ride. Yeah. We were on a two-lane country road. There was no one else on the road in front of us, and the people behind us were around the corner from the bend, so they didn't see the accident. Um, so um, it was narrow. So his truck took up the entire lane we couldn't see, so we were trying to get around him. We weren't in that big of a hurry because we were we were very close to Nashville, and we were going to stop in Nashville and um, 
have lunch. So it wasn't like we were in a hurry and we were driving fast. We just wanted to get around him because we couldn't see. So. God damn, quit fumbling the ball. All right. We're going to run. We're going to we're going to make sure we run this ball. We should be dominating this team. So, my daughter have I think her shoulder popped out of socket and back in. She might have an impact fracture at the head of the whatever this top bone in your uh, arm is. Um might have torn meniscus in one of her knees. Um, so every time we do an MRI, it costs us um, $300 for our copay for each one. And every time I get a PRP injection, that's another $500 out of pocket because insurance doesn't cover that. They consider it experimental still. <laughs> so I've already had one in my ankle. I might have to get one in my elbow if this uh, therapy doesn't work. But uh, car got totaled, so we got a new car, a slightly newer car, slightly nicer one, same car. So the wife's happy with that. Everything's good. Yeah, and Daniel, my car broke down. My son was driving my car for the vacation because his, his truck, he didn't want to take his truck. And uh, so my uh, front end went out, which made the uh, power steering freak out. So we had to get that fixed, and it sat there in uh, Sevierville which is east of Knoxville, for like three weeks. And then he had to fly back and drive it back by himself. <laughs> it's It's been one of those summers. It's just been a wild, wild shit, man. I've never had so much. Since, since March 1st of 2020, when I got sick with COVID, the last 18 months have just been the stupidest 18 months of my entire life. I'd, ra I'd rather go back and deal with some of the bullshit I dealt with in college <clears throat> than this garbage. It's crazy. It's just crazy. And all the uh, gains I got from working out, I've completely lost. My right arm is about a third the size, the muscle mass. God damn it. Another fumble. Because I, I haven't had this arm immobilized, so... Uh, the girl, the lady was was uh, massaging the the tennis elbow, the tendon there, trying to get that to loosen up. And uh, she's like, "Well, I can tell you've lost some uh, muscle tone and mass." And I'm like, "Yeah, I have a picture. I've basically lost half." <laughs> yeah, Rocky Tap. I refuse. I absolutely refuse. Boom! Nice tackle. Sorry that you're feeling bad, man. I just I. Not to get off on a political rant here, but I am not getting it. My wife's dealing with garbage at her work. She's like one of the only ones not vaccinated. And I'm like, don't bother that peer pressure, man. If they fire you, we will sue them. <clears throat> get there. Yeah, who's going to play me in the movie would be funny. You know, when I was in college, I don't know if you ever remember... Uh, Jack Wagner, the singer, the uh, um, actor, the dude that was in General Hospital. I had a, I had a girl tell me I looked like him. At that time, I had no mustache. My hair was was uh, semi long, but not really long. They're gonna give him progress. The assholes. Yeah, I understand when you're forced to from your job, but I'm. So not judging you at all, but the whole thing is bullshit. Especially when Congress is exempt from the same bullshit. So, get them. Ah. And they're going to score. Just let them score. Thank you. Napoleon Bailey. What a name. All right. Let's go back to the sim. There we go. 10 point lead. Yeah, I've had it. It shouldn't be an issue. I I lost I lost a a bunch of games, a bunch of matches um, because of the injury for high school and, and college, especially the college matches. Um, but then they said I either had to get vaccinated or take a test 
24 to 48 hours before every match. And I was like, fuck that. So I would not, even if I hadn't broken my arm, I would have lost all my college matches because I wasn't going to, uh, I wasn't going to get vaccinated or test. Because if you have no symptoms, there's no reason to get tested. Absolutely none. That was, that comes from my doctor last year because I refed last fall and was told at one point, okay, we worked a match at this college and then somebody tested positive. So they're like, all right, everybody who was in that gym letting you know um, you can't work for two weeks and you should go get tested. And I went, called my doctor and he's like, you got any symptoms? I'm like, no. And he's like, then we're not ordering a test. So I, I emailed my assigner and the uh, commissioner for that conference and said, I'm not getting tested. I'll sit out the two weeks, but I'm not getting tested because my doctor said no symptoms, no test, which is kind of the garbage that's going on in all of the, the pro sports leagues. Like so-and-so tested positive. Yeah, but does he have symptoms? If he has no symptoms... Why are we testing them? Yeah. Um, should you get tested for hepatitis or AIDS if you have no symptoms? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just stupid. We've lost all sense of uh, rational thought. Yeah, Jack Wagner. It was funny. I think it was more the the mouth shape. I didn't have a mustache or beard back then. I was I was all clean shaven. I think eighty five was the first year I was able to grow a mustache, and it wasn't even wasn't even a great wasn't even a thick mustache like this. Both my sons had like full beards or could grow a full beard in high school, and I couldn't. I could barely grow a mustache in college. <clears throat> exactly, Rocky Top. Exactly. And even then, it's up to you to decide if you want it or not. So I haven't said anything bad about any of you guys that have taken it. I just don't think it's necessary. And that's just my opinion. And if you think it's necessary, that's your opinion. And that's fine. But no one should lose their job over it. That's 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 the stupid part right now. Nobody. Oh, and while we're doing this, I'm going to get off this because I don't want to talk about this all day. But all these... All these healthcare people that are going to get fired if they don't take the vax, they're the ones that were working through this last year with no vax, and everybody was talking about how, how they're heroes for doing this, and now they want to shit can them. Give me a break. All right, we got some visits. Let's start talking football and less about current events. Because I can talk all day and I'll piss somebody off because that's pretty much what I do when we talk politics. So, <laughs> All right, we got these visits. My poor wife has to listen to it every day. So let's get Cincinnati. Get them out of the way. Let's just get them all out of the way early. Earlier the better for me. We have the bonus, so it doesn't do us any good to wait. And some of these guys, no one, no one is uh, looking at them. Let's see if we can offer any of these guys. Are we number one on any of these boards yet? Close. There we go. All right, we had 500 on Troy Green. Let's do it this way. Give it back to him. Let's see. Offered there. Offered. Offered. Missing something. Give me a second here. Right. No, no, no. Some of those thousand point guys are going to be 73 percenters and other guys we're just going to get rid of. So let's go check this out right now. <clears throat> All right, we're going to get Javon Harris as quarterback and this guy's our backup option. And we'll get these two guys. Hopefully we can get an instant commit on them. I'm not too worried about McDougal. We do need points. We need to max him out at 700. All 
right, where can we steal more points? We're losing ground there, but that's okay. We need three guys, right? So we're going to take these points away and max these two guys out as much as we can. Tight end, tight end. We're gaining ground there. But I really want this guy. Because we're going to visit in week four, so I'm going to take his points away. We're going to fall behind. But this guy's better, and no one's after him. So let's go for the better tight end. This is an offensive lineman. So let me take 150 off of him, and we'll give it to this tight end so we don't lose a ton of ground. Exactly. All right, we're first there. We offered he didn't take. We can offer him next week. I'm not going to cut him because Texas is not, um, is that Texas? Tennessee. Tennessee hasn't offered, so right now he's a candidate for 73%, so we'll leave him on the board. Same thing with that guy. As soon as they offer, we'll cut him. All right, they're coming after that D-tackle. We're number one there, and I think we only need one of these guys. Yeah, we only need one. This guy's going to take forever. That's another 73% another guy. We need two of these guys. We need one of these guys. We lost some ground there, but we have a visit coming in. So, And this one is uh, a backup in case we don't get Charles here. And these two are insta-commits, so we're good to go. Here, you can see my bonuses. They're not horrid to start with. We got a lot of Bs. No Ds. So, we'll be wrecked. Raking in some really good classes really soon. Next year, probably. We might have a decent one this year. All right, let's save this game and get on and play Cincinnati. While that's going, I'm playing an offline. I'll show you this offline dynasty. So what I do in this offline dynasty is I... Uh, I play offense and sim defense. Even when I don't have a broken wrist, I was playing offense and just simming defense just so I could um, get through games faster. I don't know if you'll be able to read this. Check this out. This is Tubby Fats. So Tubby started at North Texas, and you can see... We've done. We've only had one season with four losses, but it took him a while at North Texas. We finally won a natty. We leave and went to Duke, and I had recruited like a 78 scrambling quarterback, and he transferred to Duke, so he had to sit out that year, but we started him that year, and we won the natty. So what I'm doing in this particular one with Tubby is I'm going to a one-star school, and as soon as we win a natty with a one-star, I can only go to one-star. We leave. So we left and went to Mizzou, that was a one star. Took us three years. Went to Washington State, took us two years. This I used the uh, tool for this one, playoff tool. We left and went to Lane, won that right away. Went to Tennessee, won that right away. Went to Utah State and lost to the Tennessee team we just played as. One at Utah, one at Syracuse, one at Memphis, one at Cincinnati. So <laughs> and these teams are not that good. Some of these teams are in the 70s overall. So, anyway, it's kind of where I got a little bit of the idea for this Cuervo one to, to have to leave after we win the Natty. But in that one, we have to go to one stars. And uh, this one, we can go to any school. <clears throat> All right. Let's put them in orange cleats. And Cincinnati's going to roll with the red. All right, they have a better defense, but their offense isn't that great. So we'll see how that works. <clears throat> sure, I ran some people off with my COVID rant, but I don't care. All right, it's time for us to uh, start kicking some ass. We got a stretch of games here that we should uh, get some momentum as we get into uh, the conference schedule.
So we got a pass for 250. And I think we have a tight end in this game, but I don't think we're going to hit the tight end for 100 yards. So we'll just deal with the tight end. And our right tackle is out six weeks with a broken hand. He's a 79. We got a 76 junior behind him. So it's only a slight drop off. So we get back-to-back -back weeks where I'm playing as Breezes' school against Natty's school and Daniel's school. So this will be fun. They missed the 52-yarder. Man, those long third-down conversions definitely help. We do that a lot. And we had to punt. Let's get in here and see if we can uh, help them out. Coach says he wants to go stick and nod for Jimmy. Let's go. It's the pumpkins against the apples. Ooh. Leroy got lit up. Keep the hat back in the block. Turn it up. Didn't get it. It's all right. We'll run it. Let's run this. Come on, boys. <laughs> See if this fullback can get in here and actually make a block to help us out. Of course not. He runs straight by the defensive tackle. Look at this. Come on. There we go. 38, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? He just ran right by him. He didn't even block anybody. He just ran up the field. <laughs> Love the AI, EA. That's awesome. Love that. Fuck okay, it, we're going to go for it. That was just stupid. <laughs> he just walked right by him. Wow. What a gift. Throw it. And now it's going to run in slow motion because I went into the uh, instant replay. There's a problem with revamped. NCA revamped whenever you go in and you do too much in the replay, it slows down the game. Let's go back into the fast sim. All right. Nice return. Don't make use of it. Missed the field goal. All right, let's get in here and help these guys out in the two-minute drill. All right, boys. Smart decisions, man. Don't force the pass. Throw it out of bounds. That's good. I'll take that. See how stuttering it is? That's because I did that replay. It's slow, and it's not. I'm not dropping frame rates. This is the game. All right, it's as good as a run. Gets us a shorter third down. Actually, we want to go play action. Let's go PA deep outs. Hold on to it. Good job. Good job, good job.
Throw it. Why would you slide there? Now I gotta call timeout. My receivers are so far down the field, it'll take him 20 seconds to get back to the huddle. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's do let's do this one. I actually like this one when I play it myself. Because you got uh, circle on the inside cuts in and does a deep in and then square cuts inside the DB and, and goes to a like a post. Throw it. There we go. Stay on your feet. Inside the 10. So that almost 300 yards passing in the first half. Well, let's help him out. See if we can get that 300 yards. Touchdown. There we go. Nice. Actually didn't throw it into uh, coverage that time. And we're over 300 yards in the first half. Screw it. Let's go for two. There we go. There we go. Get it back to a uh, three touchdown lead. Oklahoma is not ranked. Wow. All right, they didn't score to end the half. Let's see if we can start the half with a touchdown. We did. Four score lead. If we get up to a five score lead, I'll just send the game out. There we go. Let's just sim it out. Just pouring it on. 56 to 24. There we go. That works. He threw seven touchdown passes in that game. Eight. Maybe he ran one in. He threw seven. See these stats. 400, 542 yards. He had 300 in the first half. Five forty-eight with eight touchdown passes. Holy shit! <laughs> he had four catches. He had three catches. Wow! 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 All right. I'd be interested to see if we get some insta commits um, off of that visit. Mizzou lost to Auburn, not surprising. All right, we'd be undefeated if we hadn't pissed that first game away. Be close to getting ranked. Now if we can beat Nebraska, that would help. That would, uh, should help us in the standings there. go we'll look at his passing stats so he's played three games three games and he's probably close to 15 touchdowns 20 touchdowns in three games i'm going to say he's probably going to be around 15 bb making yeah thank you for the follow appreciate that So Saturday night, I had uh, one of those Haas bot raid things going on three different times. So I would suggest if you stream on a Saturday night, keep an extra... I, I watch my, my stream right here on the laptop that's underneath the camera. 
and I have a tab open for my stream and I have an extra one open I have an extra one open for the dashboard the creator dashboard and my activity feed I'll be able to see if any of these uh, paw spots come in and we can I can just ban them straight out because they won't show up in chat like three people show up in chat and all the rest show up behind it how you doing Macon? Let's get the recruiting done. We'll save it and then get into this game. See if we can get any more uh, insta commits from some of these guys who moved to number one on. Get these visits in early and out of the way. Yeah, we just had we just had an eight touchdown pass game against um, is it Cincinnati? We pounded Cincy. Guy threw for 540 yards and eight touchdowns. Yep. Let's go to the top schools and see where we stand. Yeah, this air raid playbook is lit. You don't need a fullback. You really don't need tight ends. I mean, you have to have one on the roster, but they're not. You don't have to get any good fullbacks or tight ends. But you can load up with wide receivers. Um, running backs are kind of secondary. <coughs> <coughs> All right, so we're doing good there. Fine there. Those are our two backup. Let's see, let's uh, let's see if we can get this guy to commit. See if we can get this guy to commit. Nope. We need two running backs. But we fell behind on him, and that's that's what we figured. Tell you what, let's give uh, the extra 50 points to here to keep him back up the list. All right, we're number one with an arrow, so we should get this wide receiver. We're moving up on this guy, and I forgot to offer him. I'm surprised we didn't have a bad visit. Normally, if you don't offer on a week that they visit, that's a bad thing. So we actually, we probably would have landed him if I would have offered beforehand. So we got to double check this. All right, he's already offered. He's coming in next week. Leave him on there for now. All right, let's see if we can get this tight end. Nope. How about this tight end? Yeah, they finally offered. He's toast, so let's uh, get him up to 700. 700, 700. Get him up to... This is an offensive lineman. That's good. Guard. Good. Let's see if we get this guard. We need a center and a tackle is all we need. These guys are both 73 percenters. We'll just leave them alone. Good there. Good there. We need, how many D tackles do I need? One D tackle. So whichever one commits first, we'll go with. We need two middles though. So we're just slowly bleeding points here, but we're gonna have a visit this week. So that'll jump us up. Again, another 73% guy, if you don't know what that is. The highest they can get locked is 73% if the top team hasn't offered them a scholarship. So if Kentucky doesn't offer him, then by week eight, we'll start gaining ground on these guys. All right. Good there. We need two of those. Jump there. That's good. Continue to slowly gain there. All right. Everybody's good. We are going to come in here real quick. Spark 100, and I'm just going to sort by lock percent and see if there's any low lock guys just hanging out that no one's interested in. Like this 77 overall corner. We don't need corners, do we? don't need them. That's too. That's a shame. What is this guy? Is he a running back? No. He's too slow. Come 
I'm gonna throw him on the board and just leave him there just in case. D end. Do we need a D end? Or just D tackle. Just D tackle. Oh, he's. Oh, he's kicked somebody inside. This guy's too good to be sitting out here. Are you a quarterback? No, you're already taken. Alright, we're good. We'll just leave those two guys on the board. <clears throat> we'll scout them later. Alright, let's save this and get in here and play Daniel's team. See if we can beat the Corn Huskers again. The Corn Holios. All right, he's already thrown for 1,300 yards in three games. 13 touchdowns, five picks, nine sacks. What is his average? He's averaging 450 yards a game. Close are we to getting ranked? 61, so it's going to be a while. All right. <clears throat> All right, Nebraska's 3 0. This should uh, be a huge test. 95 offense, 90 defense. Yep, we'll go with those and we'll go all black. All right, here we go. <clears throat> you guys having as much trouble with uh, fantasy sports and uh, your fantasy team playing well this year? I've got some really good players. My team's playing like garbage. All right, I got the Titans defense. They play in the Jets, I think, so hopefully they'll do better this week. Get some sacks and picks. Visiting prospects. Got a rush for 100 and pass for 250. So we're going to have to uh, manage the running in this game. Looks like we're going to get the ball first. Let's just manage it from the start. See if we can get in here and get some rush yards right away. Help these guys out. Because we know when we get into the uh, fast sim, and they're going to throw the ball all over the place. Now they got a good team, Daniel. they got a 95 offense and 90 defense. So they're better than us in both. So... That's another reason why we need to run the ball a little bit. Play keep away. Now, if I was usering, that would be a different story. Love, love beating uh, the Cornhuskers. In the, there we go. In the user play. We don't have a uh, read option quarterback here, so we got to sling it. But we're going to... Be a little more conservative in this particular uh, drive. Up the field. That'll work. Second and three. Now we can run. Give that running back a little bit of a break. Yeah, I grew up watching Oklahoma and Nebraska just crush Mizzou every week. So, every every season. So, 
Paybacks, man. Paybacks. Says it's three yards. Looks like three and a half to me. Got to get to the 50, basically. Jesus Christ. Love these blitzing linebackers. No, I don't want to see. Love how it wants to show replays whenever you do bad. Yeah, I really don't want to see that play. Let's run this one. There we go. First down. Let's run this power O. Oh, he carried him for four yards. It should have been a negative play. Ball, block. Why would you run outside? This is an inside play. <sighs> See what coach wants to run here on third and six. Hey, you better watch the slant. Hit him. Now, throw it, throw it. That was good defense. Right there, though. He was open for a first down. Right here. Oh, well. By that point, he was bailing and running for his life. Not sure what happened on that play. No idea. Did we run the punt all the way back and then get a penalty? I don't know. We only we got the we had the ball on their seven yard line, so didn't give you enough information. <clears throat> curls, curls on the outside, post on the uh, slot. There we go, just like that. All right, that'll tell us how many pass yards we have. Leroy got lit up. Another first down, there we go. They're rolling on you, Daniel. This offense is uh, getting hot right now, man. We're only up one score, but they're moving the ball. Throw it. Hey, that's better than a sack. I'll take that. <laughs> All right, we want to hit this uh, slot guy at the top on this angle route. Stay on your feet. Stay on your feet, man. Come on. Patriot, 
Holy shit. He didn't get sacked and he completed that pass somehow. That was amazing. I thought for sure he was going to get sacked and maybe even fumble the way he was uh, running with the ball like that. Well, that didn't work. Got two yards out of it. All right, one quarter down. Don't you love the insta block, sh block shed? Three guys just con converged. We had no chance. We had no chance. Those are negative rush yards too, and we need all the rush yards we can get. All right, let's just worry about winning the game. That poor offense, that, that poor tackle he got run. He was like a pylon. Did you see that? He was by him before he could even get his feet set. <laughs> he had a running start. All right, two score lead, so that's good. And we get the ball back. All right, let's just go fast, Sim, and we can throw the ball in there. Touchdown. There we go. We get a big enough lead, we can start running the ball in the second half. 153 left in the half. Big third down completions. All right, we're up 13. Let's see if we can hold them. 10 seconds. Three timeouts. All right, another one of those, and we can take a field goal shot. Let's go. <laughs> that was an arm punt. We had two guys down there. He defended two receivers by himself. <coughs> Look at this. He's got three guys running. He took care of it all by himself. Both of our guys overran the pass. Awareness level zero. All right, let's check our stats real quick. So we need to uh, hit some markers for our uh, recruiting so he's almost got his 250. Yeah, we're going to have to run the ball a lot in the second half. I'm missing field goals. Can't be doing that. Ball back. Let's get the ball back. Get this ball out of our end zone. Got our 250. We have to work to get 100 yards rushing.
Oh, that stupid shoestring tackle. He was by him. He was by him. Come on. <clears throat> All right, guys. Move the chains. Let's go. Get back to running the ball. That was a laser. <sighs> All right. We got five guys here in the middle, so make that block. Of course. Of course. All right. To hell with this. Let's win the game. Snap the ball. There we go. That's the Amanda play that George runs. Boom. Throw the ball, throw the ball. He was open. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. He'd be doing these three and outs, man. They're going to come down and score. We only got a five point lead. There we go. Touchdown. All right, 226 left, five point game. We got to get at least a field goal. <clears throat> See if we can get three or four on this play. We need something positive. God, nobody wants to block these guys whatsoever. Wow, thank God he dropped that. That was not a good uh, not a good decision whatsoever. All right, now we got to uh, now we have a big third down conversion. Let's see, what do we want to do? There we go, there we go. <clears throat> Something safe, gain some yards, make them call timeout, short second down. Or get a first down right away. Glasses are smudged. <clears throat> All right, we got to turn on conservative carry and chew clock, so.
Oh, that was a huge play. Huge play. Look at him just march through these guys. Holy crap. This is the exact same play every time. I'm not calling any different play. Inside zone. I want to run the ball one more time and then we'll kick a field goal and end the game. All right, let's get our freshman kicker a few uh, experience points here. Win this game by a touchdown. Game over. All right, Daniel, we'll beat you guys. Had to hang on to win that one, but we won. Shit, if I'd have known that running play was going to work so well, I would have run that in the entire first half. We were 14 yards shy on the running. Bet you it's all sacks. 4, four 17. No. Thought he'd have negative sack yardage even more than that. That would have made the difference. It was not counting his sacks. We would have had to get 10 more yards. That's all right. Got the dub, right? Got the dub. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to tab up USN so I can kind of keep track of what's going on in his, too. All right, West Virginia. Should be able to handle those guys. we got to keep winning from here on out. These are all conference matchups for the most part. I think we might have one non-conference at the end of the year. So, if you guys remember my Central Florida Dynasty, the one I was playing before I got injured, um, I've kind of decided as soon as I win a natty in that one, I'm out of there. I want to go somewhere else. I'm not hanging out there forever. Um, so, and I think on that one, this one I kind of let you guys decide, but in that one, I think I'm going to pick the school that I go to and we'll just go somewhere else. Really want to go to Iowa, but we're having trouble with Iowa being bad enough at the same time that we're available to leave. So, um, but I haven't played in the Big Ten at all on any of my stream dynasties. So we will uh, we'll shoot for a, a Big Ten dynasty on that one, and I don't really care what the school is. Get this 
Is it scheduled? Out of the way right away. And top schools. All right, so he's in good shape. He's fine. <clears throat> Give both of these guys some extra points. Try and move them up quicker. He's fine. He's fine. Alton J550. Hey, welcome in. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Got to leave the points on there. They have a visit, but no, no scholarship. We need three of these guys, so we're fine. I'm still going to leave him on the board because it doesn't hurt us at all. <clears throat> all right, we can take some points off of him. Let's take him down to 100. Let's see where we can add that. Um, he'll get his visit after this one. We need one tackle, one guard, or one center. This guy's just a bonus. I'm going to take his points away from him. All right, they've offered so we can get rid of Tremblay. And I'm going to get rid of Kevin Brown, too. I don't need him anymore at this point. Do tackle. He should commit soon. Let's drop him down to, like, 200. And we're leading there, but I only need one. So we'll just leave him on the board and not worry about it. Jumped to number one on there, but that's temporary. Um, this guy's leading. He's a 73% lock guy. I'm just going to leave him alone for now. These guys are slowly gaining. So let's let's throw points on this guy because I think we're going to lose the safety. So let's get jump back ahead on him. And actually, let's drop him to 550 and scout these other two players. He's only 85 speed, he's power back. He's an 80. And if we over recruit, we'll go get that guy. And we'll stick this half back up here just to leave him on the board for now. McDougal's going away. All right. Hot Rod, hey, welcome in. And actually, we'll drop this guy down to 400. And give it back to this quarterback, because I want to try and push him up a little more. <clears throat> All right. We're in good shape. We still only have two commits, but that's OK. We'll get some, uh, we'll get some guys in the next coming weeks here. Probably say we'll get three or four guys real soon. So how you doing, Hot Rod? We're uh, in our second season as head coach at Oklahoma State. We uh, won the Natty at Buffalo in year four. Yeah, we're uh, we're a two-star school, but we have some good bonuses. So basically, <clears throat> once we won at Buffalo, we left, and the, the chat picked the school. And so Oklahoma State was a three-star. They sucked. They dropped to a two-star, <coughs> fired their coach, so we still had some decent school bonuses left over. So, um, but we're not over recruiting by much. I think I only have 15 guys that we need to replace. So we might take 17, but uh, it's not going to be a really goaded out class. We only really do that when we go to a bad school and we got to turn them around really fast. So yeah, you can go ahead with the question. Go ahead and shoot it in the chat. Let's look at this quarterbacks. Four games, he's got 1,700 yards. Um, it's mostly organization for me. Some people say that the higher you have them on the board, the, the better. Other people say it makes no difference. Um, normally, I put them that way just so I don't have to. Here, let me go in here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. 
I don't think there's any definitive answers to whether listing him one makes a difference or not. But me listing him this way keeps me from having to go the end to here and look at him. Um, and then at some point later in the season, all these guys that are zeros are going to get pushed to the bottom of the board. And all these other guys with the numbers on them are going to get pushed up the board. And I'll put them in numerical order at that point. Um, as I'm trying to finish off players and figure out um, who we need to uh, press on, who we might lose. So that's kind of why I'm leaving some of these guys on the board. Like this guy. We're a thousand points behind, but they haven't offered yet. So if he gets to 73% and they haven't offered, then we'll start gaining ground on them again. Welcome in, Revamp Man. How you doing? So our only two commits were insta commits from week one. But, but anyway, we're uh, three and one. Our lo first loss, only loss, was the first week against uh, Louisville. We lost by three points. <clears throat> Beat up in UTSA, pounded Cincinnati. They scored a bunch of points late to make that close. Held on to beat Nebraska. Doing good today, man. My uh, ankle's a little tender from... Uh, Doing a little extra in rehab yesterday, but it's a good a good sore. Um, so just trying to get another season done here and not take all day. Our quarterback is going ape shit. Look at this. He's got 1,700 yards in four games. He had an eight touchdown game against Cincinnati. He saved this. So <clears throat> this is what we're, while this updates, this is what we're rolling with. We're an 86 overall, 90 offense, 82 defense. Um, this is the guy we recruited last year. So this is the lefty starter. He's going to go away. We're adding another one into red shirt. We need two running backs because we have two graduating and this 81 we just signed as a Juco. It's only going to have two years. So we need the backfill there. We need, um, Three wide receivers because we're a little shallow on the depth. Only need two O-line, one D-tackle. What's up, Seahawk? And thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. And uh, defensive tackle, we only need one. We're going to add a, um, a second defensive end late, which means we'll probably drop this guy, the 72 sophomore. We need two middles because we have one senior and two juniors. Um... We'll go get some more outsides next year. And we're really, really deep at corner right now, so we're in good shape. If we don't if we don't win this year, I mean there's a shot that we get to the natty this year. Um highly unlikely, but you never know. I mean if we win all of our games out, we're in a good conference and we will beat in some good teams, so we might have a shot at the end of the year, but if not next year we'll definitely be in the uh, in the running. <clears throat> Let's see what West Virginia has uni-wise. I haven't seen them in a while. I like that. That's too plain. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. What does their straight shoes look like? Yeah, we'll go with that. All right. <clears throat> They're blue, so let's go orange. All orange. Don't like that one. All right, hey, how right? Yeah, I, I tend to stream started like 10 central time during the week um, definitely to whenever my wife has to go into work and I'm just here alone that'll be an all-day thing so usually Tuesday Thursday every once in a while we'll do a Monday Wednesday I did one Saturday night last weekend we didn't start till like 9 30 at night and we streamed and I didn't go to bed till three 
but uh, the Saturday streams kind of suck because you get these uh, bot people come in and invade your. Uh... Man, we got another guy injured. Got the center high ankle sprain. He's our 95 center. Got a 74 freshman behind him. <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm I'm shocked that we won 17 in a row. So I expected it to go all the way to the last weekend. Um, but we just kind of ran away with it. Didn't help you guys. I mean, all the teams we were competing with all kind of played like shit at the same time. So it made it easy to jump over everybody. And what's up, Specta? Made it easy for us to uh, gain a lot of ground really fast. So I don't know what the Dodgers and Giants are looking at while well, this loads. Let me go like the standings. I really want the Dodgers and Giants to have to play an extra game to decide the uh, division. Maybe they'll burn Scherzer and Gossman in that game. Um, two games out yeah so I'm a Dodger fan right now I want the Giants and Dodgers to tie those two beat each other up for one game yeah the problem with the Padres is they're young all right they haven't been through it yet they got all the young some young stars and their pitching kept getting hurt so they'll be better next year the team to watch for next year is the Blue Jays. Blue Jays are loaded. All right, let's see what West Virginia can do because they don't have revamp playing for them. All right, we got a touchdown. Let's see what our offense can do. We're running the air raid, so we're going to throw for a lot, and we need at least 250 for this visit by the quarterback. All right, got the field goal. We'll step in here and play in a little bit. All I can do is call plays. I'm in coach mode right now. All right. All right, let's get in here. Coach Coach says play action, so let's do play action. Oh, and he dropped it. Good throw. Got to hang on to it. I hate the fucking rain. I'm so tired of rain in this game. Another rain game. They better fix the uh, weather system in the next version. But it's EA, so who the hell knows? It's probably going to reskin Madden. It's going to suck. All right, third and six. Let's run the old reliable in this playbook and see what happens. We really want to throw it to the second guy from the top, 89. He's going to go a little more out than across. There you go. There we go. Yeah, they're going to mud it up. I guarantee they're going to mud up college football. Nice. Back to way to go, man. Nobody is on X. Let's send him on the streak and see if we can beat that safety. Or take the out. That's fine. Let's we'll see if this run play works. This run play was gashing Nebraska at the end of the game. We were like getting 10 yards. Right there. When we were trying to run out the clock, and they were just right up the middle. This linebacker is probably going to blow through the middle and blow this play up. Nope. There we go. How many yards does he have? 25. Let's try it again. We're going to flip it and run the other uh, the other direction. I love these inside zones. <clears throat> now we have a freshman that's about 20 points lower than the actual starter because the starter at center is hurt. So, we won't be able to do it quite as well. Let's try this one. These drums are just going to drive me insane. Throw it. Nice throw. There we go.
half back on a streak right there just off the def off the offensive tackle oh we're gonna go outside whatever Who the hell was that to? <laughs> he just chucked it. it. Wasn't like he had a lot of pressure either. Coach wants me to go four verts on the 14 yard line. Now, throw it. There we go. That was the guy. <sighs> let's go, let's go. Georgia Tech knocks off Pitt. They missed their extra point. And we go three and out. Two point lead, four seconds left. Chuck it, right? Hey, Rubs, how you doing, man? We're doing good today. We're three and one right now. Trying to uh, do some damage in the conference. <clears throat> right, we got too much of this <clears throat> three and out shit going on. So let's let's do some running. Ah. Oh, and revamps in here. I forgot. Here you go, revamp. What's up, Grimmy? How you doing, man? Oh, he almost got it. Throws into double coverage, but that was a rocket. I like the aggressiveness. We just got to execute better. Come on, defense. There we go. Nine point lead. <clears throat> six point lead, six minutes to go. Put this in the end zone. Oh, we went for it on fourth and nine. Why would you go on fourth and nine? Oh, and then we fumbled. Did you see that? We stopped them. They punted and we fumbled it. And they headed on our 10 and scored. Down by one run. One run. One, by one point. Thinking baseball. I've watched too much baseball lately. That's why you guys haven't seen me in a lot of streams, especially at night. I'm too busy watching the Cardinals. Get up the field. <clears throat> Ah, 
Yeah. Our uh, freshman center got beat on that play. Let's go, boys. We need this win. Get that first down. There we go. There we go. Lurking and working. Okay, good. Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate the lurk. All right. Looking at this slot guy at the bottom of the screen. He's going to do an in route here. Throw it to him. And he drops it. That was a good defensive play. Could have used a couple more yards than that. Yeah, it makes the uh, the drama makes it more fun to watch, but makes it <laughs> makes it. Uh, what are you doing? What the fuck? And he's gonna score a touchdown. What the fuck was he doing? Look at this. Look at this. I called this play. We we're only eight yards out, right? He's open right now. And he's going to be open shortly. All right? They're both open right now. Not to mention these two guys. And he throws it all the way over here. Let's sit back here. What is he looking at? Why is he throwing there? I mean, this guy was open right there for the first down. Right there he's open. And technically, he is too. He threw it too fast. We're going to be down eight with two minutes. So now instead of kicking a game-winning field goal, we're going to have to score a touchdown. God, I want to play this so bad. His decision-making process is trash. <sighs> Let's go. We got plenty of time. Three timeouts, two minutes. Let's go, boys. Get plenty of time. Smart decisions. Throw it away. Don't run. This is the same exact play we just threw a pick on. Throw it. Thank you.
Are we down to the one or the two? There we go. Throw it now. Thank you. There we go. What's up, Ramrod? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, it's getting there. It's a little tight. Um, we uh, get the cast off next week. Hit him on Tuesday. Let's go. Let's not piss this game away. Um, yeah, I'm already on PT for my ankle and a little bit for my elbow. We got to get the cast off before I can do more for the elbow. Um, Five seconds left. Um, so the ankle's feeling better. Um, increasing the the intensity and in the uh, some of the weight I use. So that's that's good. It's a little tender today, but that's expected because we stepped it up. Pick that. Damn. We left one guy back there to cover three. Um, but the wrist, yeah, once I get the cast off, I'll probably get a splint, which means I won't have to take a shower with a, uh, garbage bag in my arm anymore. Um, and I'll have to, uh, learn how to bend my wrist, twist my wrist and all that good stuff again. So what do we want to do? Let's see how they're going to play the run. <clears throat> There we go. So it'll probably be another month of PT because I was I was uh, on there for six weeks total. I've already done two, so we may have to extend it for uh, for the arm. But we'll see how that goes. Let's get this first down. Move the chains. He's open right now. Throw it. There we go. Turn it up. Get the block. I had to end my, um, I was in a car accident. We had a semi run us off the road and uh, totaled our car. And uh, I was holding onto the handle by the uh, wind, by the by the door passenger side, and the airbag went off and broke my wrist. <clears throat> so, by the time I get the cast off next week, it'll be like seven weeks in a cast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Grimmy. Oh, yeah. look at Grimmy handing out subs. Appreciate that, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, bounces it off the upright. Yeah. Thank you, Ramrod. Appreciate that. All right, third and eight. The hell are we gonna call? Let's try this. R one. We're gonna keep the running back in the block. Appreciate that, guys. Get up there! Get up there! Did he score? Yes! Wow! He powered his way in on that one. Thank you for the biddies. Appreciate that, guys. All right. We're just going to do uh, extra point at a time until we have to go for two. 
Yeah, he powered his way through, man. That was a good touchdown. I thought I was going to have to go for it on fourth down. Oklahoma beats Texas. Oh, yeah. Thank you, boys. Thank you, thank you. Oh, All right, let's yeah. see if we can finish this game off in one OT. Go Cowboys. And they got the first down. That's all right. Try it again. All right, Cowboys, we gotta <sighs> gas stand strong here. Let's go. Get to four and one. We need to get ranked pretty soon here. Get out there, get out there, get out there. Somebody get to him. Hit him. There we go. There we go. <laughs> We're going to blitz. I'm going to bring the heat. They're going to score soon anyway. I'd rather uh, try and break it up right now. Is he in bounds? Oh, they said he was out of bounds. Wow, that was close. Here we go. Here we go. Two more plays. Turnover. Two stops, whichever we can get. Good boys. Get in there. Hit them. Hit him. Hit him. Fumble that ball. All right. Fourth and one. Are they going to go for the one or are they going to go for the touchdown? Either way, we're blitzing. Send the house. Let's go. Get in there. He got it. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> there we go got it done in the first ot we didn't have to do uh five ot's and take another shot that was awesome way to turn it around boys let's get out of this Get out of this. There we go. Let's check these stats. Sorry for screaming into the microphone. I got to remember to sit back, but especially when I get excited. <laughs> Blow your ears out. There we go. 400 yards, five tutties, only one sack. Jason Webb doing business. Man, if we hadn't pissed that game away against Louisville, we'd be undefeated right now. Thank you for the hype train, guys. I appreciate that. Perfect timing right in OT. Inspired the guys to play some defense. BYU hangs on to beat Baylor. Who else is ranked? Don't see anybody else. All right. Now we got a bunch of road games in a row coming up. Probably gonna have to get to eight or nine and one to get ranked. That's okay. Need to look at our schedule again. See when we play. I know we finished the season against Oklahoma and Baylor, and Texas is down in there too. Um, BYU is coming up, so if we can beat them, they're a ranked team. That would uh, that would be helpful. So revamp. So we've already played Daniel's team in Nebraska, and we've already played. Nasty Natty's team in Cincinnati, and now we're going to play your current team in BYU, and we just played your old team in West Virginia, so it's like a homecoming week for all the streamers' teams. <laughs> oh. Let's go, let's go. All right, BYU's number 16, so that would definitely get us ranked if we can beat them. Got to take care of them all at once. Yeah, in my uh, Tubby Fats off-stream dynasty, I just won a Natty in year one at Cincinnati and had to leave, and now I'm at Vandy. We're on a streak of like five years in a row by winning a Natty in five different schools. And they're all one-star school when we take them over. All right, so we got the D-tackle that we needed. Let's 
go check this out. We don't need to double dip on these. I'd love to, but we don't need to double dip on the tackles. We've got some decent guys ahead of them. We just we need to replace a senior. Although we could replace a 70 overall freshman. Let's get these visits out of the way first. This QB is going to go late because we don't need him. Well, you have one option there. Get him against Texas. And the guard goes to Texas. Yeah, we got a bunch of road games here in a row, so... Anybody at the top that we can offer? All right, so the quarterback is about to commit. Let's drop some of these points. We're going to leave 100 on him so we can spread these around. Gave him a visit late. This halfback... Need these two halfbacks. He's just an adjusting case guy. Um, wide receiver. He's maxed out. He's maxed out. He'll be committing soon. He's a 73% lock guy right here. So next week, all of those red arrows are going to be green arrows if you don't know how the 73% locked works. Um, tight end, we're number one on there. This guy is an offensive lineman. He's about ready to finish off there. Let's give him another 50 just to even it out at 500. This guy's just a backup option. We only need two. This defensive end. We got our D tackle, so we don't need him. But I am going to give this defensive end some love. All right, middle linebacker. This guy's a 73 percenter as well. This guy's on there. He's barely clinging to the lead. That's why we added this guy on the board. Um, and we'll just leave it there. Hopefully next week we go to number one and we can offer him. So, yeah, we've only got three guys, but we got a lot of guys uh, very close. We only have um, 11 seniors, so I'm only looking really at 15 guys. So we'll see. We could go to 17. <clears throat> there we go. I'm going to go check the schedule once we get out of this save, too. I want to see what's coming up. So last year down the stretch, we beat Texas, Oklahoma, and Alabama. We beat Alabama in the Liberty Bowl. So we beat three really good teams um, down the stretch. Let's see where we're ranked. We are now 47, so we have work to do. So at BYU, at the Cyclowns, home for Texas, at Texas Christian, home for Texas Tech, at Oklahoma, at Baylor. We got a rough stretch here. Only two home games the rest of the season. But Texas is three and three. Oklahoma's three and two. They're three and two. Look, Louisville, that's actually a good loss. Stat-wise, he's already got 2,180 yards passing in five games. Revamp, you like those black uh, BYU uniforms? I think you, uh, I don't like these really dark ones. Like those. <clears throat> What's up, mirrors? 
it's uh it's getting there we uh got another five days or so and i'll get the cast off let's roll with these for them and back alternates orange script Those are way too plain. All right, let's go. <clears throat> so anybody who uh, just came in, we lost our first game by three points to Louisville. Should have won the game. Um, so... Now we hit a stretch where we only have two home games the rest of the season, so got to do damage on the road. Our uh, lefty pocket passers up to 87 overall. Halfbacks, we have an 89 and an 88. And the receivers, we have three guys in the 80s, two tight ends in the 80s. So, But we have a young secondary. We only have three guys in the entire secondary that are 80s and they're 81, 80, and 80. So um, our offense is a 90 and our defense is an 82. So we're going to have to outscore teams. As you can see, <clears throat> we're averaging 430 yards passing, scoring 40 points a game, but we're giving up 26. So high ankle sprain. I can guarantee you that's not a one week. <laughs> that's I'm working on five months right now. So. If you want to know why Michael Thomas had such late surgery, sometimes that shit just doesn't heal. So what happens is you have the the fibula, which is the outside, the ankle bone, and the tibia, which is your shin bone, and down at the bottom where they meet, there's a there's a ligament between those two, and so there's three around the outside the, of the fibula. That's the low ankle sprain, and there's one in the middle, and when that one tears, sometimes it doesn't heal properly, and they have to go in and put a plate and screws to to stabilize the uh, both bones so that ligament can regenerate itself because what happens is when you move around those bones spread out and if that ligament um, isn't healed and you move wrong you'll re-tear it you keep re-tearing it keep re-tearing it so um, that's why sometimes it takes so damn long all right a and m hat <laughs> I've got a, uh, I've actually got an Oklahoma State T-shirt. It's a little tight, and a Florida, uh, Florida Gators shirt that I got. There was a local department store that was going out of business, and uh, I got them for like ten bucks a piece. No, can't be going and can't be punting. Stop, Jesus! All right, if we don't, we don't score in this drive. I'm stepping in on offense. And we missed a field goal. We're gonna be down three scores. All right, let's get in here. Oh, I'm on defense. Never mind. I thought we were losing. I lost track of which direction we were going. <laughs> I thought we were down 14 nothing. We're up 14 nothing. Very colorful game. All right, we'll just keep going in the sim if we're gonna score points. I thought we were, I thought we were going that direction, so that kind of messed me up. God damn, how many plays is it gonna take them to score? All right, let's get in here. Yeah, they got a lot of options. It's one of the uh, fun teams to play as. If you want a low-level school to uh, have a lot of options. Eastern Michigan is really good. They have a ton, like 13, 15. They got a lot of options. Illinois has some beautiful uniforms too. I love the all blue, especially the all blue. <clears throat> Stewart makes the 
Hey, mirrors our quarterback through eight touchdowns against Cincinnati back in week three. Comes the blitz off the edge. Throw it. You got to get it higher than that. He just threw it right off the uh, defensive lineman. Did I switch our playbook accidentally? I don't think I did. I'll find out here in a second. No? Get some deep outs on the both, both top and bottom of the screen. Throw it. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Ah. Break that tackle. It's a touchdown. Look how wide open he was. I'm actually finding some plays I can use when I actually do gameplay again, but it's a different... I don't play with this playbook, so... Hang on to the ball. We can kill some clock here. Second and four. Let's run the ball. That'll make it second and four. Let's see if that's somebody making their draft pick. Yes. There we go. That play works like 80, 90% of the time. We completely chewed the clock in Nebraska running this same play. Let me update my hockey draft while this uh, calls this play. Oh, damn it. You didn't have to uh You didn't have to push that. <sighs> and then we give up the score. We scored a touchdown in 22 seconds. It took us 22 seconds. Kick. We were on our own. Where is this? Who are you? So, yeah, we were on our own 19-yard line. One, two, three... Four, five, six plays to score in 22 seconds. Six plays, 22 seconds. And we fumbled it. And they missed the field goal. All right, ready to go, defense. Get down here and score again. There we go. 18-point lead. Go deep. <clears throat> He's got the arm. He keeps throwing it too low. He's got to lob that deep. He's got to throw that high and let it drop straight down. Yeah, I think the sim cheats. I think the sim cheats on the clock big time. Every one of those plays was a first down. So the clock stops. 
It's like they're running hurry up and they don't waste any time at all. Let's call something completely different. We haven't called this play all day. And they're going to sniff it out. Watch. We haven't called it all day. What the fuck was that? <laughs> he overthrew a screen pass. He just launched it into the bench. What the hell? <laughs> this guy cracks me up, man. Just cracks me up. Man, he's just throwing shit everywhere now. All right, third and ten. Here, we're going to let the computer call this play. And we're just going to watch. And hands off. We'll see what happens. Look at that. Another dot. Let's let him go. Keep going. Just keep calling plays. Let's go. All right, no turnovers. Field goal, worst case, field goal gives us a three touchdown lead. Man left, man left. Down, down. Mike, 52, Mike, 52. Throw it. Touchdown. Boom. I do not have a timeout on this. Game over, man. Game over. Twelve points with four forty two. We'll let him go one more time. All right, we're gonna we're gonna step in on offense if we don't. Uh, there we go. Let's get this game. Let's get this game over. Messing around. Ah. Offensive line getting pushed into the backfield, and then he runs into him and doesn't go around him. Fine. Call the uh, the money play. See if we can get a first down. Throw it to the second guy from the top. Everybody's everybody was covered, and he ran, scrambled right into a sack. He turned right into it. Look at this. I'm gonna run right into the sack. I'd rather him throw the ball away. Just throw it away. Alright, so we're up 12, so that's still two scores. Made them burn a timeout. Punt the ball. They scored. They did that whole drive and didn't call one timeout. Not one timeout. They still have two timeouts. We've got to kill 46 seconds. We're going to have to get a first down. How could nobody be open on this play? They were blitzing and I called a pass. Amazing. They played that tight of man defense. <clears throat> 
This fucker needs to quit running. We can't afford this. Should have just run the ball. Touchback. That was poor. Should have run the ball on third down. Wasn't paying attention how much time was left. Could have run the clock. I could have took a knee on fourth down. Man left, man left. They have to score a touchdown, so... It's not like we have to worry about them getting in field goal range. They got to score. So no one over the top. Keep in front of you. Keep them in bounds. Pick would be good. That was a coaching error on my part. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Step up. We're blitzing. Keep them in bounds. Love how they shed those tackles so easy. Why would you spike the ball? The, the clock stopped. He went out of bounds. That was stupid. The, he went out of bounds. He just gave away a down. All right, two more plays. We're going to bring an extra DB. Oof. Pick that ball. It's game over. We got one more play. One more play. All of this because I didn't run the ball on third down and eat the rest of the clock. Pick it. There we go. All right. We survived my mistake. Beat the number 12 team. Go. These transition pages take forever. It's so unnecessary, too. So unnecessary. It should just go right to the menu. There should be no reason for it to go to any of those pages. I want to look at that stuff. Just put it in a highlights. It's already got a highlights thing right there. Just put the put the uh, pictures in there and let me look at them when I need them. Some of those would be good for uh, thumbnails, but they don't store them. All right, we survived that. Now we get a buy. Yeah, the presentation. I don't care about the presentation. I really don't. I really don't care about presentation. I want to call my plays, play the game. Call my plays, play the game. Doesn't have to look like a, a TV broadcast at all, because we all know it's not a TV, right? They're playing on a console. Just let me get through the menus as quick as possible.
Okay. Five wins in a row. We got a bye week coming up. We'll see some of those 73% guys pop up on our board that we haven't dropped yet. Oh. Come on, come on. Stoner gamers playing during the day? Holy shit. I know USN streams during the day. We do it head to head on Tuesdays and Thursdays a lot, but Stoner's usually a late night streamer. Must be off work. Did Stoner have like a 20 overtime game last night or the night before? I missed it. Did he, did he seriously score 95 points in a mega overtime game? All right, look at this. Got one of the wide receivers, we got the quarterback, and we got, this is the athlete, Lou. Guys, Will McDonald was the uh, athlete that I said was an offensive lineman. We got our quarterback, so this guy can go away. We're going to get these two guys. Chugging up the board there. Hanging on there. Here, there's our 73% guy right there. So he's just, um, he's just extra. Got to hang on to him. Let's bump him up. He's extra. Can offer this D end. Got him to number one fast. There we go. 80 overall defensive end that no one was interested in. I put points on him for one week and bam, we got him. Is he Juco? No, he's not. He's a five. Number five defensive end, four star. Just sitting out there. Hanging on there. <clears throat> Push him up. In fact, we'll uh, offer him. That'll give us a little more bonus, too. Wish I knew how much an offer was worth. All right, time to start moving these guys up in numerical order. So give me a second. Time to focus on what we need. Number nine class right now, and we have a bunch of guys left to uh, get, so that's not bad. All right, we can just straight advance because that was a bye week. Give me a sec. The dogs were dying to go hunt down squirrels. They chase at least six of them around the yard this morning. I'm 
I'm seriously going to laugh my ass off if I have to do a tequila shot today. If we win the Natty in year two... <laughs> We'd be undefeated right now. We'd probably be in the top 20, inside the top 20. All right, we got one of the middle linebackers we needed. <clears throat> All right, let me go back to my list and see what we need. Get these visits first. All right, we needed a quarterback, and we got this guy. 67 speed, but 86 throw power. We needed two halfbacks, and we're leading on all three of these guys. And I'll actually take three if I get them. Um, don't need a fullback. Wide receivers, we need three, so we got one. Working hard to get these two guys, and he's just an extra. All right. Tight end, we need one. And we should be able to get this guy. We need a tackle in a center. We can kick this guy to center. And that um, athlete, they said he was a guard, but we can play him at this guy. We can play him at tackle. We need one D tackle. We did not need a D end, but I'll take this guy. If you want to give me an 80 overall, I'll take him. Um, got the D tackle we needed. Need two outside linebackers. They were insta commits to start the uh, season. We need two middles. So we have this guy. And we're looking at these two guys. Just need one more. Um, and I'll tell you right now if we get all three of them, I have a junior that's a 69 that I'll cut. Need one strong safety. So whichever of those we can get. We have some place. Yeah, let's drop him to six. That's what we're going with. And we are now currently number five. All right, got to play the Cyclones. Yeah, we're number five class right now. We got a bunch of uh, high overalls about to commit as well. So we we have a good shot at the number one class. <clears throat> and we're up to number 23. We're playing Iowa State. And our quarterback has 2,600 yards. Look at that. Tennessee is one, Florida State two, Colorado three, Louisville. That was our first loss of the season. That's actually helping our rankings. In Notre Dame four and two. Get out of here. We're down here at five and one. It's the BCS say. Five and one. Yeah, we gotta win out. Is our quarterback uh, in the Heisman race? No. All right. 
get in here, beat the clowns. I still have JT's emotes. Here we go. The Cyclowns. Good there. All right, here we go. Let's kick some poser's ass. The Cowboys game, which game? The Oklahoma State or the Dallas game? I saw the Dallas I saw the Dallas game. a little yeah a little red today there we go all right offensive line is almost healthy no rain thank god Where's Jimmy at? He had to be in here hating on these guys. Hey! Is this heaven? No. It's Iowa. Hey, they missed a field goal. Down the field, convert, and I throw a pick. All right, one more series. If they don't do it on their own, we'll step in and try and help them out. All right, we got three. One more time. All right. Second quarter, let's get in here and see if we can do some running. Gave him the green light for the Watson trade? Yeah. I just cut Watson in my uh, fantasy league. I had him for like $2. Hertz doesn't have the arm. He's a good athletic quarterback, but he does not have the arm. But the problem is, how long is Watson going to get suspended for? Whether he's guilty or not. I mean, you saw that with... Uh, didn't Zeke get suspended even though he wasn't guilty? They suspend him for 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 giving the NFL bad press. Is that what it is? See that jump throw? That was hilarious. <clears throat> He's open. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to see the replay. If I want to see a replay, I'll call timeout. <clears throat> Move the chains. Alright, let's try these slants. Definitely talented, but is he going to be a bad character guy, you know? I don't know. I don't know him. Haven't been around him. Haven't haven't followed the team. It's a lot of people to be uh, accusing you of something, though. 
Throw it. Throw it. Up the field. All right. It's as good as a run. All right. We can run this dive. Guards need to get off the line and go hit those middle linebackers. And, of course, they just let him go right, right through. Just free shot. All right, let's go. Boom. Got the trailer. I don't trust the sim here with the extra point. We've missed too many extra points in the sim, so we'll kick it. Georgia loses, so a top five team goes down. That's good for us. Keep knocking off those undefeated teams. Boom, that was fast. Another touchdown. 50 seconds. Can we score again? Yes. <laughs> we scored again. 31 to 3. Boom. 40 yards to the tight end. What's up, Attack? We're uh, doing a coach-only mode. I have a broken wrist, so we're we're doing coach-only. So we're in, we're simming fast right now because we're just kicking Iowa State's ass. So yeah, we're first in our division, but we have all these. We have Alabama. I'm sorry. We have Oklahoma and uh, TCU and Texas and Baylor all to play at the end of the season. So he just broke his own school record for passing yards, and we just finished the third quarter. Look at this. How many touchdowns is he going to throw? Because he threw eight against Cincinnati back in week two. He's got six. 40 of 56 for 563 and six. <laughs> All right. It'll probably take him out and bring in the backup. So let's go. And they fumbled it in the red zone. Yeah, Roach is our backup. So he set a school record for passing yards in three quarters. 62 to 10. 62 to 10. <laughs> Beat those assholes. We don't like Iowa State. We don't like Kansas. There we go. Game over, man. It's game over. Thank you for attending today's ball game. Please drive home safely. 62 to 10. Somebody gift me a sub. No. Where's Jimmy at? All right, let's double check our stats because he came out after three quarters. So the backup came in and threw for 81 more. How many pancakes? A decent amount. All right, the northern half isn't as strong. It's got uh, BYU and Nebraska, the two teams we added to the conference to get us a uh, conference championship game. And we've beaten both of those guys already. TCU just lost to Texas. LSU lost to Texas A&M. Arizona State beat Oregon in OT. All right, is that ass kicking going to help us or hurt us? Yeah, Kansas had a couple of good years. They were good. That was back when uh, Chase Daniel was quarterback for Mizzou. Yeah. 
Because they got to go to like the Orange Bowl instead of us, even though we beat them and gave them their only loss. <clears throat> um, yeah, that was the year. Every, that was the year I uh, I won a truck. My dad is an elk, and they, his lodge had a drawing, and so he bought like five tickets for a hundred bucks a piece, and they drew my name. And I won a truck, so I had to fly down to Florida and drive it back. And it was like right before Christmas, and uh, my boss didn't want to give me time off. And I told her I needed I needed a, I needed a, like three days because I had to fly down there and drive back. And so I flew down the first day. We took care of getting everything taken care of, and then the next day I went and played golf. And then I drove back on a Saturday, <laughs> so I built in a day off to go play golf. Right before Christmas in Florida, I made it. I made it from Pensacola to uh, St. Louis in 11 hours. Stopped for gas two times, took a leak and got food both times. Ate while I drove. 11 hours. There we go. We got the guard and we got the tight end. All right. And the other uh, strong safety is ready to visit. So we're, we're knocking off the guys on the list here. So All right, we have one more ready for a visit. That's this guy. Let's just go ahead and throw him into this week with Texas. All right, where are we at? So we're still hanging on to number one there. We have this guy trying to stay alive got to get one of those two this guy this guy you might have several guys going to the offseason but hopefully we can nail these two running backs nail this wide receiver let's get him up to 700 we'll give him 700 I don't need this guy, so we'll let him go. And we'll give the extra points to this wide receiver because you never know. So let's move him down here. So we have an 81 guard. What is he? He's going to go. He might. Yeah, he'll go to tackle. This 80 D end that was just sitting out there. 78 tight end with 83 speed, 85 catching, 84 spec catch. Pretty good chance next year we go to the spread playbook instead of this uh, air raid playbook so we can use the tight ends and the fullbacks and use our scrambling quarterback. <laughs> this is a guard or a tackle. It says he's a guard. He could play center. Got the D tackle, got the quarterback, got one of the three wide receivers, got one of the two middles, got these two guys were insta commits in week one. So, need a strong, need two wide receivers, need two halfbacks, need another middle. So we're getting there. <clears throat> we are getting there, and our class is now number four. Let's save this and get in and play this Texas game. So Texas, TCU, Oklahoma, Baylor, Texas Tech is in there too. So I think it goes Texas, TCU, Texas Tech, Oklahoma, Baylor. I think that's what our schedule is. So we're in the state of Texas and Oklahoma for the rest of the regular season. We're up to 19. You asked what we were on our division. <clears throat> So we're number one in, in the South. Everybody else has two or three losses. So, and now we play all of these guys in a row. This, this right here finishes off our schedule. In the North, we've already beat Nebraska. That's their one loss. And we beat BYU, beat them, and we beat West Virginia. Stew the Fish, hey man, thanks for the follow. 
so we don't play Kansas or Kansas State this year. Yeah, it does that doesn't bother me at all. Is our quarterback ever going to get Heisman consideration? No. Look at these stats. He's already at 3,200 yards. He's 900 yards ahead of number two. 32 touchdowns, 10 picks. And he had a lot of those picks early. All right, let's get into this Texas game, guys. We know they have shitty uniforms and because there's just plain basic white, so we're going to go all black. Good guys wear black. All right, boys. Let's get it. Five games. Got to go on a, uh, a Texas-Oklahoma run here. We get through these five games, we might have a uh, pretty good shot. I'll check the uh, top 25 again after this game and see what the, the top of the board looks like. But I think if we make this run, win the conference championship, we, we have a really good chance. Nothing else. We'll play maybe in the Sugar Bowl or Rose Bowl or something like that. Have a really good bowl game. <clears throat> Got a rush and pass. I'm not... We probably aren't going to get the rush yards unless we get off to a huge lead. And now we lost our left guard for three weeks, but we got the center and the right tackle back. Their quarterback's out. Their right end broke his vertebrae. Nasty. Hey, nice sunny day. Sorry, revamp. Going to have to kick your guys' asses. And we get to kick off first, yay. Beef jerky. Need the protein. Uh-oh. Hold on. I touched the cable that's connected to the uh, capture card, so I'm going to have to reset it. Otherwise, it'll be stuck for you guys. All right, there we go. Sorry. Missed field goal. Boom, there we go. Touchdown. Mm, fourth and three. We went for it and didn't get it. All right. I have no game sound. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Guys are getting on revamps nerves, man. Gonna have to go. Jump you guys in the bathroom at the uh, when you go for concessions.
Wash Pal, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Throw it. Isn't it Mr. September's, uh, mm, maybe not. I know Sep had some uh, horns down. <laughs> mm. It was one of those two guys. Let's run the ball. He got murdered. Holy shit. Watch his hit. Boom. Sit down. <laughs> Who's playing tonight, Lou? Oh, man. We missed our extra point, didn't we? I'll punt this. They're just running it down our throat. Not one pass in that whole drive. And we just marched on them. Now they pass every damn down. Look at that. They went from running every down to passing every down. All right, we're up by two. Second half. That was a quick score. Boom. 17-point lead. Let's try this play-action play. -action play. <clears throat> Unknown, welcome in, man. How you doing? But that that should be a fumble right there. You guys haven't seen film on me in a long time. <laughs> Unknown, we're trying to uh, win the conference championship in uh, year two at Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Yep, doing well. Trying to get a little healthier. Um, this comes off next week. Rehab's going well on the ankle. Um, I told my, uh, physical therapist, she's a hand specialist. And I told her, I was like, uh, I want to push this. Oh, look at this wide open. Holy shit. Wow. Let's see the replay on that. Some scorch marks on this one. You just let him go. Safety's not helping. They they traded players. The safety sits down instead of playing back. He lets him go thinking he has safety help. He's open from the 45. On the run. Wow. <laughs> Let's kick this extra point instead of letting the Sim miss it. Yeah, one of these nights I need to sign up to uh, to sign up to help broadcast. That would be fun. I've never done that before. I went to school for that, so you think I would want to step in and do it, but I haven't. All right, let's get this game over with. 
They missed a field goal. Down the field. All right. Two and clock. That's fine. They scored. 16 point game. Touchdown. Put up 45 on the horns. He set another school record for passing yards. And they got they got the onside kick. We got it back. Touchdown. All right. There we go. Yeah, my problem is with the Cardinals winning and getting into the playoffs and all that stuff, all my nights are spent watching because you don't see me in very many streams right now. So I'm too busy watching the Cardinals right now. So if they uh, – if they lose in the playoffs, then I won't have those nights to take up. If they keep winning, I'm going to keep watching. All right. 601 yards. Hold on. My dog's one in. Oh, girl. Go lay down. Go get a drink. I know it's hot outside. All right. 600 yards. Look at this. <clears throat> you notice the pattern? Yeah, I'm, I'm never around when the Cardinals. Yeah. I was around all, all summer long, and the Cardinals put on 17-game winning streak. I'm like, all right, now we got to watch these guys because they're actually playing like they're supposed to. Goldschmidt needs two more ribs for 100. That'd be the first time we've had two guys with 100 ribs in the same season since, I think, Pujols and Edmonds. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see the Mariners knock the Red Sox out. It would be nice if Toronto and Seattle would knock out New York and Boston. That would be so nice. Nice feeding. That's awesome. All right, my head coach goes up, which really doesn't matter because it's, it's game points. Let's go antifreeze and get that out of the way. All right, so 52 to 30. Yeah, that would be awesome. Toronto is going to be loaded for next year. Toronto is a team you guys need to worry about next year because all these young players – are, are kicking ass on offense, and they finally got some pitching. They basically stole Barrios from Minnesota. I wish the Cardinals would have traded for Barrios, but um, Toronto is going to give Tampa a whole load of trouble next year. And the Cardinals, if they actually decide to go out and spend money on starting pitching, would, would uh, definitely be able to win the division. I'm not impressed with Milwaukee's offense. If they didn't have those three stud, four stud pitchers and Hader in the bullpen, um, they wouldn't be nearly as high up in the standings as they are. Their offense doesn't scare me at all. <clears throat> yeah, I can't stand the Yankees and Red Sox. Fuck those big markets. Don't like the Dodgers either. Definitely don't like the Cubs. I do like the White Sox. Angels are kind of eh. I like Oakland. Don't like San Francisco. Yeah, 100 million. Yeah, that guy that broke his hand, he went to the same high school that I did, same high school my son did. He was one year ahead of my kid. Um, and Kenny Piper, that kid that got drafted by Tampa Bay this summer, got a hit off of him when he was a little bitty freshman starting on the varsity team against Devin Williams. Guy's throwing 95 miles an hour in high school, and Kenny got a hit off him. I mean, he roped a single off him. All right, so we got one of the wide receivers. We got one of the running backs. So that covers if we don't get one of these two wide receivers. Now I don't want to play this game. I want to go to look at recruiting. So the 68 guy at wide receiver that was kind of uh, a backup option. If we get those other two, he'll get... The 68 is going to get cut if we get the other two. I won't keep this guy. All right. Everybody's got 700 points on him. <clears throat> Let's look. <sighs> Hanging on. 
Just got passed by AM. That's going to go to the offseason. This is going to be a nightmare. Um, we'll get him. We'll see. Just got passed. Yeah, I really don't need all these going to the offseason. We offered him. Yeah. All right. You get a lot of high overalls here. We need these guys to start signing. <clears throat> Let's see where we're at right now. We're number one. We will stay number one if we get all those guys on that board. See Vanderbilt's number two. All right, we're up to 18. I was going to come in here and look at the top 25. So Tennessee is one, Florida State two, Colorado three, Louisville's four, Minnesota, Stanford, Penn State. Look at Buffalo. That's our old team, man. They won the Natty last year in the Sim without us. He's at 3,800 yards. 3,838 touchdowns. All right. That's pretty cool feeding. Hold on, I gotta tell my son this pick. All right. So, beat Texas, knocked them down. They're four and four in conference. We're going to win our half. If, especially if we beat Oklahoma, we'll win our half. So we're going to play in the Big 12 championship game with a rematch of one of these two teams, probably Nebraska. Ooh. All All right, let's root for us to backdoor the Natty so we can come play at Iowa next year. All right, TCU, four and five, nothing special. <clears throat> they have purple shirt. Throw, use it. Let's do the throwbacks. Except we're gonna go uh, white gloves. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Well, that loads. I'm gonna add my son's pick in here. All right, injury reports. All right, so our left guard is out, but our center and tackle came back. A left guard was a 73 anyway, but we've got a 74 center that can slide there. We have a 76 tackle that can slide there, so we're okay. Doesn't really hurt us that much. 
And this is our third rain game of the season. God damn, stop with the rain. Stop with the rain. Remember last year we had a snow game against Oklahoma. I mean, I know it, it rains in Oklahoma. They have a lot of tornadoes and shit, but it shouldn't be raining this much. Let's go. Give me the option. Give me... Thank you. <laughs> it's taking forever. I'm sitting here spamming X. Let me choose. Let me choose. I know. All right, offense. Let's move the ball. Or not. Fumble. Nice. Short field. Make him pay. There we go. 7 nothing. Looks like a downpour. Looks like we're standing inside the shower. <laughs> yeah, Texas and Oklahoma, they get their share of storms, but they, you know, they roll through. They're not going to just stand there and soak like this. It's usually a big ass thunderstorm that becomes a tornado. But it shouldn't rain as much as we've had in this particular season. We're going to audible to a pass because they're a stack in the middle of the line. Ooh, should have thrown it to 10 and was wide open. Right where I told him to go. So, it's so random too. Like we played ten years at Colorado, at Northern Colorado, and we didn't. We only had two snow games, and it was our last two games that we had. So year ten, the last two games we get snow. <laughs> I know how much it snows there. I lived there. I know what it's like. Snap the ball. Let the CPU call it. Damn, nice hit. That was a nice throw. Yeah, I haven't played Madden 22 yet. Uh, I still have Madden 21 because I got it free on the EA Play. Um, and so I've played it a little bit, but all I do is sim the games. Fast sim. I don't even watch the games. We just fast sim. All I want to do is uh, draft, trade, and do free agency. Go, guys. Ooh, we stopped him. Hold him to a field goal. That's good. They're still two scores down. Man, we keep getting these long third down completions. Didn't do it that time. All right, let's get in here. It's only a four point lead. Second and 
All right, boys, push. Impose your will. Let's get this first down. Yeah, I like his. I like his. Uh, his sim ones, just because you know you have less control and it it makes more of a difference on how you do as far as constructing the team. I get frustrated watching when he actually does gameplay because I hate his playbook. And uh, he wastes really good players by having these crappy-ass plays that he runs. And he likes to split time with his two running backs. He'll have two good running backs. And instead of using one and really getting him good, he kind of splits time. And neither one end up being worth a shit. It's kind of frustrating. I love his presentation, though. I love, uh, But I have to watch him on double speed because he talks so slow. Literally have to watch him every time on double speed. One and a half speed is perfect. It would be perfect announcer speed. He would be a great play-by-play -play guy on one and a half speed. Yeah, I've seen every one of them. I, during COVID, I found him, and I uh, I just sat there and watched dynasty after dynasty, franchise after franchise. I just I would let I would load the playlist and let it just run, and just sit there all day and. If I was doing something, it would play in the background. Or if I was actively watching, I would just sit there and watch. So. I enjoy them. We do things differently. Everybody does. Touchdown. Boom. There we go. I actually like having that red uh, goal line. It makes it much easier to figure out where you're on the field. Yeah, Callus Bell is pretty awesome. I, I watched that late. Actually, I watched his Minnesota one last. And that's like his first one he did, right? So I went from having these really high production streams to seeing him out in his bedroom when he's in high school. It was pretty funny. Nebraska hanging on. I do love the hype. He can hype. Man, we just giving up instant scores here. All right, trading touchdowns, five minutes left, 11-point lead. Let's put this away. Put this away. Touchdown. All right, field goal makes it a two-touchdown game. Two minutes. we got to kill two minutes, and they have all three timeouts. They did all that and didn't give up any, any timeouts. So we're actually going to throw the ball here because I have a better shot of completing these passes and getting positive yards than trying to run the ball. I love the, de uh, the, the, the degraded uniforms on these guys. All right, second and two. Now we can run the ball. All right, I got to change it so it's conservative carry, too. And uh, we want to eat the clock. Double tight, double tight. This play is just to burn that last time out. Turn. Turn and burn. All right. Third and one. Game's over. We get this first down. There it is. First and ten. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Get the 
Yeah, that two-hour video, that was, I don't know how many hours of editing. And I know, Franchise, you know from editing, that is a lot of work. That is a lot of work. A lot. I mean, you had to go find all of that video and then figure out what order to put it in and splice it all together, do his voiceover. I put together just a slideshow of pictures from our family trip to uh, Disney World. And it literally took me 40 hours to do a 27-minute slideshow. <laughs> Game over. Survived. <clears throat> it took me that long to do our uh, video because I, uh, I had 500 photographs I had to go through. So I had to go through and mark them and figure out where I wanted to, what order I wanted to put them in, make sure every kid was represented an equal amount of times and all that good stuff. Yeah. So it took me basically an entire week to get everything done. Plus I was still learning the software. It's uh, Final Cut Pro. I didn't have this microphone, so I could do a much better voiceover and stuff now doing that. I'm sure I would get uh, a ton of, uh... here, I'll help you out feeding. I, I, I would get a ton more interviews on, uh, on YouTube if I would condense my six and seven hour streams down to even, you know, 30, 40 minutes. But uh, I just don't give myself the time. Hold on a sec. Not logged in on YouTube. Give me a sec. Fuck. I'll do it over here. Never mind. Give me a second. I'm logged into my PC, so. All right, four more games. 12, 13, 14, no. Three more games. Texas Tech, Oklahoma, and Baylor. That would get us to 11-1 conference championship. That would make it 12-1 BCS championship would be 13-1, right? So, hey, Feeding, if you want to uh, if you want to learn on the recruiting side, straight recruiting, I would watch the Louisiana Monroe series, and I'd watch the Northern Colorado series those two northern colorado is 10 years long um but i took a 62 overall team and then got them to uh year five we won four straight natties and we didn't we lost late in the season in year 10 so we didn't win five in a row <clears throat> all right so we got the other half back and somebody committed to tcu who, who committed to tcu after we kicked their ass Who did we lose? We lost the wide receiver, son of a bitch. Why would you go there? We just kicked their ass. That's why I had that other wide receiver. So we need this guy big time. Let's slide him up to the top of the board. Pay attention. Slide him up here too. We don't need this running back, but I'll take him. This is what our class looks like so far. Not bad. Standard. A little lower than, than most. Usually have more of these guys. That's okay. Where are we at overall class? 
We dropped from one to three. TCU stole our guy. That pissed me off. <clears throat> Watch games in the top 25 in my conference. Make little highlights. That's cool. 20 Michigan beat Clemson. Damn. Three to nothing? That was all? Three to nothing? <laughs> Um, all of our scheduled visits, I'll go double check, Spectre, but I think all of our visits have been scheduled. I don't think we have any, uh, we might, this is our, uh, this is our last home game. Oh yeah, thanks for mentioning that. I would have missed these two guys. That would have sucked. Alright. We're up to 16. Colorado lost. Fuck, if we could have beat Louisville. So, American, ACC, SEC. We need some help here, guys. We need some help. Rice is up here. How is Rice ahead of us? And we're definitely on the he not on the Heisman watch. Oh, we snuck in at number number five. He's only the fifth on the board, and he's already got 4,300 passing yards. Let's pick Texas Tech. And we'll make him wear white. And we'll stay with these. Last year when we played these guys, I uh, went too fast and ended up having to play offense the entire game. They were ranked at the time, too. Man, Red Cross just is relentless. They fill my inbox wanting me to go give blood. I'm a... O positive and I have some RH factor in my blood that's really good for newborns, but I'm uh, not in a position right now. So once I get 100%, all right, this guard will be back in another week. They're missing their right tackle. No rain, thank God. Yeah, exactly. I have a scar in the crook of my elbow over here from giving so much. It's a permanent scar. Well, that wasn't good. Three and out. Come on, defense. All right, gave up three. Ooh, 81-yard touchdown. I'll take that. All right, 14 to 3. We'll do some actual gameplay in the second quarter. Fumbled. Good, good. Another touchdown, 21 to 3. Got the ball back again. Boom, 28 to 3. They want to keep turning the ball over in their own, uh, inside their own 20 yard line. Threw a pick. Missed the field goal. All right, let's get in here. Let's see what we can do running the ball here. I, I do kind of miss playing at Texas Tech in that old uh, that old dynasty. We, we built a powerhouse there, man. Snap the ball. I'm hitting the axe. Let's go. Stay on your feet. All right, third and three. Let's 
see what the computer wants us to run. Hold on to it. There we go. Yeah, we don't have the quarterback to run the triple option this year. Trying to hurry up on these guys. If we can score fast enough, hold them, we can get another touchdown before half. See if we can double up on these guys. Let's go, let's go. All right, stick and nod for Jimmy. Let's go. Snap it. Snap it. Fuck. What was with that? The guy underneath was wide open. He just threw it straight out of bounds. This is slightly different than that other play. So we've taken too long, so we're not going to double dip on these guys. We'll just grind this down. We do have a halfback visiting, so all these rush yards do make a difference. Touchdown. There we go. <coughs> Four touchdown passes in the first half. Gotta love that. That'll get him. He's got 40 touchdowns, at least 40 touchdown passes now, so... Alright, third quarter... Kick it off to them. Give up a score. That's okay. Up by 25. March down the field. Get down the field. There we go. Touchdown. And they run the kickoff back for a touchdown. So we just traded touchdowns. Field goal. All right. 45-17. They threw a pick on the first play. Put it in the end zone. 52 points on them. They get a quick score. This looks like typical uh, Big 12 defense here. Give up another one. <laughs> Seven touchdown passes. 59 to 31. You 
We got our backup in there. Roach is our backup QB. All right, 59-31, got the dub. We lost our first game of the year, and we've won every game since then. Four eighty-three, seven touchdowns, one pick, one sack. 70, 80. Hey, we got our 100 yards rushing. Thank God. Look at these two studs. Leroy and Jason doing business, man. Eight pancakes by Maurice McCall. Eight. Dude is a large stack of pancakes by himself. Eight pancakes. All right. All right, so we have Oklahoma and Baylor, and our regular season is over, and we get into the uh, Big 12 championship game and whatever bowl game we get. Wisconsin beat Michigan State. Colorado keeps winning. Now we go to Oklahoma. <clears throat> Nine straight wins. And we should have won that game. We kind of pissed that away. So if we don't claw our way back into the natty this year, we will we'll definitely be be a uh, contender for that next year. So what is today? Thursday. If I could stand putting up with the stupid uh, hoss bots on Saturday night, I might come back Saturday night. Let's see if I can start a little earlier. Start closer to like seven central. I started a little bit later last time because we had some good college games on, but I really don't want to go to bed to uh, don't want to go to bed at 3 a.m. Yeah, the Haas guy. He hasn't been back. It was funny. He followed. The, he had like four of his accounts follow me the other night when I was watching Breezes. I wasn't even streaming, and I got four of them. Yeah, revamp. I had to. I had to ban 123 accounts on Friday. On Saturday, 123. They would come in waves. So I would get like five notifications telling me that I had new follows. But you would go in to uh, the, the dashboard and I'd have like 40 and I'd have to ban them all. And then I'd have another one like two hours later and then another one two hours later. Hey, we got that middle linebacker. That was a low lock guy. Awesome. Move back to number one. We're dropping there. We do have a uh, lock pick, so we can jump back in on any of these guys. I don't need both of these. I just need one of them. We're going to get a third running back, too. All right. One middle linebacker. Two middle linebackers. We got both. Actually, I don't need this guy. I'm just going to leave him on there. If we get extra, we'll just cut some extra guys. Fuck it. No more visits. Where are we at overall? Number five. Keep dropping. We get some of these five stars to commit to us. All right, so we're right at four hours. And we basically have four games left. So if we can wrap this up in two hours, that would be awesome. Or quicker.
Man. I think we're going to get hosed. He's already at 47, almost 4,800 yards. And we have four games to go. He's going to throw for 6,000 yards. Three hundred, three hundred yards a game. He's averaging more than that. He's averaging four seventy nine. So, let's let's do the math. Four seventy nine times four. Is nineteen sixteen. He's on pace for six thousand seven hundred and nine yards. Ninety-seven defense is going to be difficult. All right, leave them there. the gray ones <clears throat> we haven't worn the gray pants all year breezes if you're lurking dude we're uh we're gonna get a shot next year we can't sneak it in this year we will next year All right, everybody's back. They're missing a guard and a middle linebacker, so. Come on. And it's another rain game. We've had four. 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 <laughs> Come on with this. I thought Oklahoma and Texas were supposed to be dry, man. They're saying booger sooner, is that what they're saying? I know it's boomer, but I'm being a smart ass. Hey, we held him. Boom, there's one touchdown, and they run the kickback. It's a tie game. All right, they got a field goal. <clears throat> Let's get in here and call some plays. Look, it's raining and the sun is out. <laughs> we have the shadows and it's raining. Man, you got to cut up the field faster than that. Look how much room he had to cut. And he takes forever to get up the field. Come on. We have a 97 defense, so this is probably going to be our most difficult game the entire season. So, third and five. What does coach want to call? All right. Let's hope for this slant, the stuttered slant down here in the uh, slot guy. Come on. Fucking 94. He's got a defensive lineman playing back there. All 
All right, six point lead. Let's go, boys. All right, this is where we score. Boom, one point. Hold them, hold them, hold them. Nope. There we go, 36 seconds left. And we held them. All right, one point lead to start the second half. Let's go down the field. All right. Let's help these guys out. hate that where they run straight out of bounds. What's up, Daniel? We may have to play Nebraska in the conference championship game. We have an outside chance to get a natty, but it's, it's going to be difficult. Come on. Comes a blitz. Throw it. There we go. Nice play. Nice, nice play. That's good for a game of 24 yards. First down. We're just going to sling it. Hell with it. We can't uh, run the ball as well as we need to, so we're just going to throw it and make them uh, cover us. Two pancakes on the offensive line. Ooh. Let's go. See if we can get a deep shot here on second and two with this play action pass. There we go. That'll work. 15 yards. Move the chains. Try this one. That was lame. He bailed too early. No, I don't want to watch it. Quarterback bailed way too early. All right, let's see if we can get half this yardage back. See if we can get six or seven yards. Make a decent third down. Or not. Coach says third and eleven. Keep the half back in the block in case we get a blitz. Throw it. Oh, he picked it in the end zone. Son of a bitch. You very uh, much under through that pass. That was terrible. Hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him. All right, held him to a field goal. All right, one one point game. Five point game. Three forty eight. Let's try and help him out. Oh, he dropped it. Son of a bitch. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> what was that? Why would you do that? Okay. 
Yeah, we're going for it. Fourth and one. We kick it to them. They're probably going to score anyway, but I would rather uh, I would rather go for it here. And we'll flip this play and go the other way. Wow, he held on. Thought he was going to rip that ball out. Come on, O-line, do some blocking. Stop somebody. Give me some room to run. There we go. That works. That works. Second and four. That was a bit risky. Third and four. There we go. Move the chains. Thank you, thank you. They handle the blitz really good. Go back to running the ball. Letting the clock run down without putting chew clock on. All right, got the first down. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. Put the uh, no fumbles on. <clears throat> man left, man left. See if we can get a positive play out of this. There we go. That works. All right, I'm calling a timeout so I guys can rest. They're not too worn out. I'm going to keep calling this run play because I'm going to call the other pass play if I have to, but we're uh, just kind of uh, march this down the field until they stop it. Oh, he fucking fumbled. Are you fucking kidding me?
That's the only fumble we had the entire game. And I had turned it on conservative so he wouldn't fumble. Eighty two carry. Eighty two fucking carry. Now we'll never know if we're going to get to the natty. We will get to the natty next year and we will fucking win. All right, I'm pissed off. I'm going to play the offense in this next game. I'm playing offense next game. We had them beat. We were inside the 10. They weren't stopping the run play whatsoever. He pulled it away from him as he was already by him. He fumbled the ball by a defender grabbing him from behind. It wasn't even a hard hit. And of course they had three guys standing around the ball. <laughs> yeah, we will fast sim defense and we will play offense. Um, or Baylor. Feel sorry for you guys. That win would have put us in the top ten. Might have got us in the top five. Let's go look and see who else lost. Because if there's only one undefeated team, I'm really going to be pissed. You know, and of course it had to be a rain game, right? So we got the other half back. Somebody locked us out. Still have four teams undefeated. All right. Who locked us out? Not as pissed off as I was at that Tulsa game, but I am not a happy person. And they have a 75 defense. Yeah, we're putting up 70 on these motherfuckers. Recruiting uh, a whole bunch of um, high 70s, low 80s on defense in this recruiting class. So our defense should be better next year. I'm probably going to let those guys play and not redshirt a ton of them. Um, so that our backups aren't trash. 
Look at that. First in points, yards, pass yards, and rush defense. Hey, look, a sunny day when it doesn't matter. <laughs> Way to go, EA. What a fuck is. We only dropped two spots, too. See that? We only dropped two spots. Didn't wait long enough. Threw it too quick. Got to wait for him to get deeper down the middle. Leave me a message. No idea who it is. This is with our 60 rushing or 70, 60. I don't know what his speed is. It's not good. in the house. Oh, Jesus. Nobody's on this dude. He's going on a streak. Fuck. Come on, offensive line. You gotta help. I gotta have time for these guys to get open. Hold on a second. All right. Sorry about that. They were calling about a bill that I just paid for my uh, for my uh, ankle and elbow and wrist. Oh come on! He's wide open, and he's fucking hurt.
All right, let's see what our quarterback is because our starter just got hurt. So let's go see. <laughs> oh, this season. Roach, 79 speed, 80 overall. 82, 82. All right, I can work with that. We can actually run some read option on this now. Plus, I'll be rolling out to the right. Oh, he jumped it. Holy shit. Yeah, he doesn't have the arm strength for that kind of throw. Take tough five yards up the middle. Let's go. Do it again. He's out three weeks, so he's going to miss the conference championship, but not the bowl game. Catch the ball. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <sighs> and now we can't stop anybody. Now we can't stop anybody. Now is when I wish I had my other playbook. Can't throw on the run. The guy blitzed off the uh, off the edge and totally wrecked that play. All right. Way to hold on. Good job. Good job. Don't want to see the replay. And the guy that made that great catch pulled a groin. He's out one quarter, which when he comes back and asks me, I will uh, I will tell him to come back early. 
Shocked that defensive end just went right by me. Come on. Yeah, stay in the game. Doesn't have the arm that was open. It was open. <laughs> that was me spamming X. I didn't mean to throw it that fast. X wide open down the middle. Watch. That's a gain of 13 on the play. First down. Larry, Larry. My 52, my 52. You go play. Oh, stay on your feet. Damn. Mitchell makes the tackle at the 19 yard line. That makes it first and 10. You gotta love offensive linemen just running right past the guy they're supposed to block. He just ran right by him. All right, screw you guys. We'll call it a read option again. We'll double up. We got three receivers over there. No. Push the wrong button. Push the wrong button. That brings up second and goal. <sighs> Hate that. Your heart like sinks. As soon as you push the button, you're like, no. He could have got around him. That cut, I was trying to get by him. They'd have been off to the races. Would have been off to the races. Actually. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Dog four. Second and two. Four down, four down. Mike 52, Mike 52. Hey, 
and kill. Did not like that linebacker and the DB, the safety, both stacked up. They were gonna, they were gonna blow up that pitch play. They were gonna blow that up really quick. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. This game should not be that hard. Just marching down us on uh, on the defensive side. Jesus. Give me a second here. Right in your hands. Catch the ball. Easy, easy. Blue 20. Red 2. Orange 3. Orange 3. Griffin makes the tackle at the 43 yard line. Just doesn't have the arm strength. Now taking my time. I'm I'm rushing it. <laughs> I understand that. Oh, what a dropped. What a dime. Right over the shoulder. Right over the shoulder. There you go, Blake Jimmy Hendrix. <sighs> Wish our defense could play where the shit. Oh shit, I didn't mean to kick this off. 
I had to do kicking with my left thumb on the right joystick. It's quite funny. Sometimes it's actually easier. If I go slow and I, I don't like jerk it down and push it up really fast, if just take my time. It's almost every single time is max power. Stop them. All right, field goal. Probably not. That anything under 600, it's not going to be a gem. It's just he's he's not going to he's not going to do it. He may not go down a lot, but he's definitely not going up. Thank you. Oh, oh I should have run the spread playbook. I'm rusty as shit. Hey, at least they didn't score a touchdown. Let's run a little bit more. Especially when I'm starting at my own five. I'll take that. 25 yarder right off my old goal line. It's probably the closest he's come to 100 yards the entire season. What's up, Rye Guy? We just got fucked by EA at the end of our last game against Oklahoma. We were inside the 10 driving for a uh, game-winning touchdown, and uh, they forced a fumble even though we had conservative carry-on, and that'll uh, keep us from having a shot at the natty. So very frustrated. How's your day been, man? Get that first down. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. Come on, there it is. Regular read option. Let's go. I was sending everybody out to the left, and I was going to run right, and that defensive end shed that block. And it was in my face so fast. I'm like, all right, I got to hit a button really fast here. <laughs> I'm going to get hosed here in a minute. <laughs> I let him, and he just launched it straight almost out of bounds. Nice throw, dude. Love the accuracy. Love that accuracy. That was great. <laughs> threw it 10 yards wide of the guy he was intending to throw it to. Snap it. Let's go. Jackson makes the tackle at the 17-yard line. 
Jackson brings him down at the four yard line. That makes it first and goal. He got sacked and fumbled the ball. Wow. We are lucky. All right. Let's try, <clears throat> try and punch this in. Yeah, and of course, we have to throw it in. All right. I had to wait. If I throw that to triangle, that's picked. I had to wait for the other guy to break through his press. Need another stop, defense. Let's go. I'm going to try and eat this entire clock. Yeah, I'm playing offense this game. I'm pissed. We got fucked. First and ten. 
I didn't score on purpose. I sat down and let him tackle me because we want to run this clock all the way down. That makes it first and goal. Yep. That was another play. I stopped shy, didn't run it in on purpose. Should have took a knee. Should have took a knee on that play and then run it in with 10 seconds left. Do I squib this kick or do I kick it deep? I think I should just kick it deep. Don't give him a chance to run it back. Three timeouts in 14 seconds. That's like three plays. And we'll watch it. <clears throat> Not playing D, so we're going to have to watch it. There's one timeout. There's the other timeout. I think they get two plays left. They have to score a touchdown, so nothing over the head. There we go. Picked. He hit him and he uh, picked it off. There we go. Big defensive stop there. Hit him as he threw, deflected right to our guy. Two losses, and we should have won both games. We should be playing in the natty right now. Fuck. All right. We got our, our conference championship and our bowl game. Somebody just made a pick in the hockey league, too. So let me go check that out. All right, so this guy got hurt. He came in and did eh. We ran a lot more because that's what I was uh, comfortable doing. They don't run nearly as well in the sim as we would do um, ourselves. So we'll uh, deal with that. Thumb hurts. Let's 
said three weeks, so I imagine he'll miss the uh, conference championship and not the ball game. Draft is paused until this numbnuts who drafts in front of me all the time picks. He takes forever. All right. Set up where we go there. Yeah. Right there. See what that did for our recruiting, too. All right. We'll probably be in the mid-90s next year with this team. <sighs> this will probably be our uh, rematch with Nebraska. Who knows how this is going to turn out because we don't, I don't think we have our normal uh, QB. So. Might have to switch it to the uh, spread playbook instead because this guy's throwing arm isn't as good. But he's got wheels. I think our next season is going to be a natty run. with both of them at this point that's right if Lee commits we'll just let go of Anderson and that way we won't have three guys in the offseason I definitely need that wide receiver where are we at over here classes we're still number four so that's good staying ahead of Alabama and we move back up to 14 yeah, we'd definitely be in the top 10 at this point. Those two losses, we'd probably be sitting at three, two or three. Makes me mad. We could have won the Natty this year. We'll go check the uh, top 25. We'll also look at the uh, possible bowl game because it'll tell us where it thinks we should go. All right, we got the strong safety. Let me get in here. We don't need the other guy. We just need one. We have a uh, 79 junior, 76 sophomore, so we really don't need him. He'll be over an 80 by the time he's a, a freshman and he's, he plays his first game. So... We don't need this guy. I'm not taking him. That'll let us split the points and get both those guys. Um, come in here. Top 25 polls. We still have four undefeated teams. We were going to get hosed either way. Unless we beat Louisville. Yeah. <laughs> Buffalo's 10 and 2, not bad. Bowl projections, where does it say we're going to play? Thinks we're going to play Michigan in the Cotton Bowl. Where's Nebraska? Alamo 
Bowl. Yeah, they think we're going to win and play. I hate Michigan. We lose every time we play to Michigan. We lose every time we play Michigan. All right, he's over 5,000 yards passing. So if he puts up two monster weeks, he'll be just over 6,000. So not bad. But he's, he's hurt. Let's see how bad he's hurt. 51 and 12. Bruce shoulder one week, so he's not going to play. All right. I think we're going with the spread playbook because we can run the ball and we have good tight end, we have good fullback. Um, we don't need him to throw down the field quite so much. All right, I know this playbook way better. This is our Missouri, Texas Tech, UCF playbook, so these, these, these plays will look a lot more familiar. We're not going to be throwing for 600 yards. So. <clears throat> the tight ends will come into play a little bit more. I have some uh, really good tight end pass plays in this playbook. He'll be back for the uh, bowl game. Jerry Dome. Fuck, they're just running down our throat. Look at all those run plays. Told you he likes to scramble. <laughs> that is a timing pass to the tight end over that by the sideline, and he just said, "Fuck it, I'm running."
if he gets hurt, I'm going to have to uh, rip the red shirt off the freshman because we're not going to play with the 70. We're actually down to one quarterback right now. This guy's our only quarterback. Throw it to him in the flat. There you go. That particular play is designed to throw it to the flat. All right, now stay in the pocket and throw the ball. The tight end should be open around the 10-yard line. Throw it now. Wrong guy. aspect of that's why I carry four at all times four quarterbacks one's red shirting and three of them are playing no I really don't want to see that play <clears throat> damn uh Come on. There we go. Touchdown. I threw a pick. And of course they score. I love that play. That pass is open all the time. All the time. He's wide open from the snap of the ball. He's wide open every single time. Jesus Christ. He just, man, hey, look at this play. Look what he does to the offensive lineman. He just split three guys like it was nobody's business. Jesus. Alright. Got about half that. A little more than half back. Make it easier on us.
This guy's a sophomore, so he'll be a junior next year, this quarterback, but he's not going to start because we have a freshman being redshirted right now that'll be uh, the same overall or better, and that's the guy we want. Turn up the field. Yeah. Fourth and one we're going for. It's more like a yard and a half. It's almost two. Come on, O-line block. There we go. Here we go, first down. Got to got to call more shorter pass plays with this guy cuz you never know what the hell he's going to do. There we go, scramble. That's what I was hoping for. Spread those guys out, run off the linebackers with the uh, two slot guys, and let him just run straight through the line for a touchdown. That's what I was hoping for. Now we got to play some defense. Just like that. Fourth and six, and we went for it. All right, picked it off. Well, they don't want to win it on their own, so we're going to have to help them out. So let's just chew this. Wow, totally he rammed him with his helmet, knocked him down. Holy shit, he just crushed him. There we go, there we go. Need to at least get a field goal out of this. Good, good, good. Make them burn one. We'll get the other two on the next two plays. Do 
Did you see what happened? Did you guys see what happened? They gave me no forward progress. None. All right, he gets to the 36 yard line. He gets to the 36. And he stumbles back and that's that's 9 yards that we lost on the play. <laughs> that was going to be like third and one. Ha! Fuck you, we got it anyway. They tried to steal it from us, guys. They tried to steal it like they did with Oklahoma. No, 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 no. Like Matumbo, right? Had an extra blocker on the line there. Let this go all the way down so it goes under 40 seconds. We don't have to snap the ball. They tried to steal that, man. They tried to steal it. That was bullshit. All right, we won the conference. We won the conference. Now we get our quarterback back so we can go back to the air raid offense. I'm going to leave the air raid playbook for next year at the start of the season and see what we uh, what we do. If we get in trouble, then we'll switch to this one. Thank you, thank you. 329, that's not bad. Yep. We will definitely run a whole lot more when I have the right players. We don't need to throw quite as much. I know this playbook works in the SEM too because it's the same one we've been using Army for the last seven, seven years. So. Rice is undefeated also. Yeah, we don't need the Big 12 championship. We got a lot of those. Going to the Cotton Bowl. Play Michigan. Give me my quarterback back so we can kick their fucking asses. I hate Michigan. I'm not a fan of Ohio State, but I hate Michigan. If I had a choice, they'd both lose. <clears throat> uh. 
All right, boys, one more game and we're done. We're at 524. If we can wrap this up by uh, 4 o'clock, so in the next 40 minutes, the next 40 minutes we can... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, fam. <laughs> finish this game off and finish up the off season. They're killing me. They're killing me with the... Uh kicking my ass every time. Hey, our quarterback finished fourth. Not bad. No, we're not. We're playing Tulane in the Orange Bowl. Whoa. Wow. Okay. That's different. Must have won the Maxwell. We always win the Bednarik every single year. And the Nagurski every single year. Davey O'Brien. Remington, our center, did well. Always win the Lombardi. Hey, we're up to number 11. Boys, if we had gone undefeated. <laughs> if we had gone undefeated, we'd have been hosed. Rice is getting screwed. Ah, I love it. Florida State and Louisville. We got two ACC teams. How do you get two ACC teams playing? Oh, they're... Oh, it's because Louisville's in the American. That's why they're not in the ACC. All right. I thought they were in the ACC. I just goobered up my glasses and smudged them. I hate that. I have contacts, but I still have to wear glasses for reading when I wear my contacts. So, Bama beat Tennessee. Virginia Tech lost to Florida State. Ohio State lost to Minnesota. Buffalo lost to Toledo. All these top 10 losses. Yeah. Getting the All-Americans. Better be the quarterback. Yep. Quarterback in the center. A lot of guys on defense, which is hilarious because we're only like an 82 on defense. We're cleaning up on defense with an 82 defense. So our right tackle, look at all those guys that are freshmen, all Americans. Take like that. Yeah, I didn't, I, this is a, uh, we started this, it was uh, revamp, updated rosters, and so the, the conferences were jacked up. Give me that. Go get it. All right, so he's at 51, and he got hurt. Is he back now? Should be back now. Yeah, we're back. All right, let me save this. We'll get in there and play this game. <sighs> Looks like the Mountain West is going to get decimated because... Um, they were looking at um, a couple more of those teams moving to the Big 12. Maybe like the Big 14. So they're 9, we're 11. All right, playing Tulane. Let's get in here, get this game done. Yeah, we should definitely kick their ass. that all right boys one more I still have a relegation dynasty set up that I haven't even started and that's where you put all the best teams together in four conferences. And then the all the middle teams are together in four conferences. And then all the shit teams are together in four conferences, whatever. Actually, it's two conferences. And then we split up the independence between two different conferences. Um, so um, I have that set up, but we haven't started it. I think I set myself up to be head coach at um, Iowa in that one. 
lost my uh, earbud. It uh, powered off. Ignore that. My quarterback is not out 12 weeks. Hey, and there's no rain in Florida. Every time I play in this stadium, it rains. Took them a while. They marched down the field. And we're slow starting. There we go. And we fumbled it away. Alright, last chance before I take over, boys. God. Okay, blocked a 54 yard field goal. up the field oh he's shy lost lost a little bit as long as we don't lose like eight yards like that one stupid play we're gonna go for it on fourth down Go, hold your blocks. Here it is. Boom, there it is. All right, maybe they'll play better in this sim now. All right, get a stop, get another score before half. Or give up a score by half. Oh, they missed the field goal. We did that whole drive in like 30 seconds. It's crazy. Twenty-one seven.
That's a late hit. He rode him all the way out of bounds. Throw it. Throw the flag. Let's go. <laughs> this game never calls personal fouls. Alright, time for a play action pass. I don't know what they're reviewing. He was clearly in bounds. There's no way he was out of bounds. Look at that. He's holding the ball. He got two feet down. That's a good catch on Sundays, man. Why is he jumping to catch that pass? Boom, there we go. Yeah, those were the two teams I just saw. I think it was Boise was upset that they didn't get asked to be in the Big 12. It was all in the same article. I feel goal's good. Still a three score game and they gotta go for two and they turned it over. There we go, 38 to seven. They marched right down the field. And we just come right back and shove it down their throats. All right, let's run out the clock here, guys. Very successful season two. Got screwed by Oklahoma and we screwed ourselves against uh, Louisville or we could have been in the natty next year. We'll get this next year. And that's not a cliche. We will get this next year. This team had pretty good roster to begin with, and we had good bonuses, so we can we can uh, fill the gaps pretty easily. So, for some reason, we have some bad luck in the next stream, and we don't win. The next year after that, will be fucking lo loaded for bear because all these freshmen are going to be in the mid to high 80s or low 90s.
Three, two, one. Bam. All right. Miller time. Yeah, the, the PS3 to mod it isn't that big of a deal. It takes about two hours total to put hen on, multi-man on, um, download all the files um, off the CD onto the hard drive, and then to install the revamp files. So it took me like two hours. <clears throat> all right. I didn't mark down what the score was. Forty-one to thirteen, kick their ass. So he finished twelve and two, right? And we just got to find out what recruiting class number we have. All right, game stats. Grew for 410, four more touchdowns, no picks, no sacks. He would have probably thrown for more if uh, I wasn't calling so many run plays. But we got to get, got to get that win. <clears throat> All right, let's finish off this recruiting class with these last two guys. Won the Orange Bowl, yay! Forty-one thirteen. Hey, we made some uh, really good progress. We've beaten Texas two years in a row. We should have beaten Oklahoma two years in a row. Um, really, nobody in the conference has been that uh, big of an issue. We kind of pissed a couple of games away the year before, so that kept us out of the conference championship game. But that Louisville game, we lost by three. Both those games we lost were in rain, too. I think we had four rain games today. So. <clears throat> Miller time showing off his uh, his bitty emotes. That Obi-Wan. You get that if you uh, cheer certain amount of points or a certain amount of, of bits. I think there's only like three of you that have done that. Let's go. Record books. School record, passing yards in the season. There it is, 55-92. Broke his own record. And broke Mason Rudolph's touchdowns in a single season. That's it. And let's go in here and see what happened in the top 25. Louisville beats Florida State. They go undefeated. So we lost. Look at them. They were 86, 90, 83. 86, 90, 82. They're exactly what we are. We should have played for the fucking natty. Rice lost. Wow, so we finished number seven. Finished number seven. All right, let's finish off this recruiting class. Just a minute. Uh, we got to come in here and do our depth chart stuff real quick, so give me one second. This will take a little bit because we have several guys. So this guy needs to be the 76th freshman. All right, this guy needs to be the 81. He needs to be the 74. And he needs to be the 71. Wide receivers, you don't have to worry. Well, I guess we should. Let's the senior replace him with this 73. And 
replace him with the 72. Tight end. Left tackle, 73. Center needs to be this other center. Right guard is a 79, and he needs to be 70. Right tackle is him, him, he's fine. So let's go left end. <clears throat> right end. We're gonna go the 72 sophomore. D tackle. Going with the 70 freshman. Left outside. All right, right outside. This is 76. Corner. <clears throat> Free safety, strong safety, go with the 76 so you don't lose him. All right, just a minute, Zoom. All right, let's save this in advance. So your redshirt senior 84 benched for a true freshman. Hey, if he's not playing, not playing well, we did that earlier. One or the other, maybe with Buffalo, didn't we bench the guy and brought somebody else in? You need to go outside? Looks like it's gonna rain outside. Alright, let's advance. Get this recruiting over with and we'll be done for the day. We'll be back sometime maybe Saturday night. Oh, that's too bad. There's an older gentleman that I ref with. Very nice guy, very sweet man. And his wife was diagnosed with a brain tumor. So she had surgery yesterday, was released from the hospital, and she's at home recovering. So he's he's done refing for the rest of the season. Understandably, that's terrible. View the contract. They want to extend us. Of course they do. We just went eight and five and twelve and two. This is totally meaningless. I'm gonna go ahead and sign this just so they don't keep bothering me every year. <clears throat> we can still go into the coach carousel. I want to see who's available. Oh, they stole our defensive coordinator. That sucks. It didn't let me... Uh, it it uh, fast-forwarded through everything. So I signed the extension so I couldn't go in here. So Louisville... 
Yeah. He wins the natty and leaves and goes to Miami. <laughs> he got fired. So NC State. Fuck me. Look at this. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. We're never going to go to Iowa. Baylor's head coach. Look at all these head coaches. Iowa just hired a head coach, so we're going to have to go somewhere else again. <sighs> well, I wasn't trying to go there. I was just looking to see who was available. Hey, Rag, I, um, remember and save those points because I'm not putting people on this particular um, team in this until I, when I get back to playing, um, I have the Central Florida team with all the guys that people have uh, redeemed for, and I'll put you on that one. So just remind me, check that out. We have a 22, level 22 OC and a level 27 DC. Look at this. They're gearing. Just remind me later when we get back to the Central Florida that you already re already redeemed. They're going to help us win. All right, our defense is going to be studly next year. <clears throat> all right. We'll get all those bonuses. <clears throat> all right, so as a head coach, we are 57-23 and 23 overall, both at Buffalo and Oklahoma State. 20-7 and seven here. 12-5 and five against the top 25. So, not bad. All right, we have three guys projected to get uh, drafted and no juniors leaving early, so that's good. No more slackers, right? Did I get an upgrade? Yep. Draft results. We got three of them. That helps. Let's go look at Buffalo. Boom. There it is. Those are all our guys. Anybody want to transfer? I didn't think so. I got to check our height and weight after this season because we're going to have a lot of guys in the 90s next year. Well, we'll have at least 10 guys in the 90s. Mm, no, I take that back because we have some, a lot of these guys are graduating. So we'll have a handful. Doesn't matter. All right, let's go finish this off. Give uh, McLaurin 7,000. That's good. Good for him. It's kind of fun when you um, you play all these different ones or you watch somebody else play and you see another school and get an idea. You get to see the uniforms too. So that that's cool. We're going to give McLaurin 7,000 and Brown the rest. Yeah, I, was, I wanted to play North Carolina State because I saw those uniforms, but then revamp was changing schools and North Carolina State was open. I'm like, dude, go play NC State. You'll love the uniforms. And he was going to go to Marshall. I'm like, no, go to NC State. They're so good. So he went to NC State. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. I haven't saved, so let me save.
Those are some fresh uniforms too, man. I absolutely love that helmet. I was watching them play on TV the other night, and I told my wife, I was like, look at those uniforms. Look at that helmet. Those are so cool. I saw them in NCAA, and Revamp was playing it. She's funny. You drop F-bombs like I do, and she's she'll walk by, and your stream's on, and you're cussing up a storm, and she's just like, she gets upset. And I'm like, he's a grown-ass man. He can say whatever the fuck he wants. You be quiet. <laughs> you think I'm the only one that cusses a lot. Give me a break. <laughs> I'm shocked she hasn't blamed your cussing on me because I get blamed for everything anyway. So I, I would be the bad influence teaching you to say, fuck, give me a break. Give me a break. <laughs> she cracks me up. She's too nice for her own good. Except to me. I'm the only one she's, she's rude to, but I earned it. Come on, come on, come on, Chief. Come on, it's gonna rain. It's gonna be wet. Good day. Go. Hustle, hustle, hustle. All right, go lay down. Oh, my dogs are hilarious. So the younger one is only a year old, and the other one's seven years old. The older one is like one of those big, heavy race cars that takes a little bit to get going and then it just blows people away and the little one is like one of those fast little ones that starts out really fast and goes really quick and turn really tight but ends up losing in the end because it uh, shot its wad too early so those two one's fast one's just i wouldn't call her slow she's just she's just takes her a little while to get going all right we got both those guys we got a top five class. Come on. Not bad. Not bad at all, especially for the first year. And they already had some stuff on the team to work with. So the team's going to be loaded. Looked at our... Uh, there we go. We only have one C now, boys. We're going to clean up in recruiting next year. We are going to clean up. <laughs> this is going to be like recruiting with a uh, six-star school. There we go. Number three class. Got to make Breezes happy. Win the conference. Beat Texas twice. All right. Let's advance. Get on to position changes. We only have uh, a few. We don't have a ton of athletes on the team. <clears throat> we'll look at that first. Yeah, we just have two. And this guy is the offensive lineman. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. This was an athlete. Can play him anywhere on the offensive line. He was straight up an offensive lineman as an athlete. He's a 70 fullback too. Lou was asking about tight end, but he, he could play fullback, but he's, he's, he runs a, he's at 71 speed. That's terrible. All right. I'm going to move him to center right now because we didn't get a center. Where's this guy? We didn't get this guy, did we? Do we add this guy? I think this is a computer ad. I don't remember getting this guy. All right, so. <clears throat> Jamal Hayes is our starter next year. I don't care that he has 60 awareness. He is starting next year. He's got 86 throw power, 78 accuracy. This is the guy we just recruited. 
So he'll get red shirted because we don't need him right away. So I'll we'll have senior, freshman, freshman red shirt, junior. And we'll keep all four. Halfback, we got three of them, including this. No, these three right here we just added. This guy's a power back. So. It matters more in um, Sim than it does with you playing because you're the one doing the awareness on him. Probably cut this freshman and leave the sophomore because he's already been redshirted. And we'll have one of these guys not redshirt and the other two redshirt. Fullback's good. We'll need a fullback next year. Um, yeah, we did not get this guy. Tight end is good. All right, left tackle. We have senior, sophomore. Sophomore, senior, junior. What does guard look like? Freshman. Freshman. Center. He's the athlete, but he's going to be, they're going to be close to the same when they have uh, their point upgrades. We need to add some offensive linemen. Seventy-three. There's right tackle. He's an eighty. He's a seventy-six. Seventy-four. That move right there lets us redshirt McDonald. So he'll start as like an 80-something in two years. Freshman, sophomore, junior. We need a left tackle. All right, that keeps us from needing a tackle. That means no, don't need a tackle there. All right, we have no needs on the offensive line, so that's good. Defensive end, we're really good. Remember, we just signed this 80 overall freshman. These guys are going to bump up. Let me see. Let's move him to right end. We'll move one of these guys to de-tackle. So let's move the slow ass to de-tackle. And he becomes one of the top guys and we can redshirt him. All right, 77, 72, 70, 70. All right, you gotta split up these juniors. <clears throat> so, move him to right outside. Move him to left outside. Shit ton of of middle linebackers. Um, <laughs> All right, senior, junior, freshman, sophomore. Junior, freshman. Let's move one of these middles out here. Let's move this senior to the outside. I'll play back up. <clears throat> I'll probably redshirt these two and play this freshman. I don't know. Let me look. If we move him outside. can red shirt 
He'll play and graduate. He'll be a senior, junior. All right, we're good there. We're good to go there. I'm going to play these two guys and redshirt these two, and he'll be a backup. So we really need to upgrade right outside linebacker next year. All right, corner. We're in really good shape. Don't need any of those for another year. Good there. Got our freshman. We'll get redshirted while these two play. We're good to go there. All right, guys. Everything's balanced. We've got our classes balanced at each position, so we're not gonna have, we shouldn't have any needs at all. We should, should not say we have a need anywhere. Man, finding that offensive lineman as an athlete was killer. And stick him at center. It's always hard to get centers. It's way, it's way easier to get tackles and guards. All right. Training. I don't even like looking on this page. We have one guy in the 90s, but there's at least 10 guys in the 90s. Yeah, 11 guys with 90 speed. We can look at all this when we go into the roster because we'll be able to go in there and look at it. All right, cut players. How many do we have? Handful? Five. Good. One of them is this Joker. Strong safety is good. Free safety is good. Corner is good. Good, good. If I have to, I'll cut this junior. All right, so this 78 is the guy we just signed. And we'll redshirt him, and he can start next year, the year after, if we're still here. All right. So this guy, we did not... No, we did sign him, didn't we? We did sign him. He's running back. I, know, I hate to cut a 93 speed. He's a, he's a freshman. Gotta cut four guys. Alright, this is tough. Having a tough time this time. Alright, so senior, two juniors, three sophomores, two freshmen. It's got the worst acceleration. The worst catching. okay on this coverage um, we're gonna have to add at least two corners we're gonna redshirt two of these guys the other ones can fill in so I'm gonna cut this junior because we don't need him This junior. Two more. I don't want to cut that guy because it'll tell us we need a uh, tackle, and I don't want a tackle. We're good with all of this. Wide receiver. Two seniors, two juniors, three freshmen. Cannot cut any of these guys because we need all of all five of these guys for the following year. So I'm gonna have to recruit at least three wide receivers. I could cut this um, fullback because we don't need two fullbacks. I'm going to have to recruit one anyway. We don't really even use a fullback, so that's kind of pointless. Now we're going to go with these two and one, so we'll just cut this guy. I hate to cut this guy, though. But we've already got three freshmen in front of him, so how much is he really going to play? His awareness, his acceleration is 84. 
This guy's a power back, so I'm not too worried about him. Let's cut coal. We're good. I knew the one guy was going to be slow. He wasn't going to have a high excel because he's a power back. But if we can always cut him later if we have to. I added the two halfbacks to replace the seniors. And then I added the power back to replace that guy we just cut. So we did it the way we were supposed to. So we have junior, sophomore, and three freshmen. And... Will redshirt two of them. So. Almost done. Wanted to be done by four, but not quite. We're almost there. Already did that. It's just advance. I need to change conferences again. Twelve and two. Not bad, not bad. <clears throat> well, this is updating before I forget. I want to thank you guys for uh, hanging out all day. Thank you for the uh, hype train. That was uh, a lot of fun at the end of that game. That was cool. Helped set the, uh, set the tone for the game. And uh, so thanks for the subs, the gift subs, the biddies. I appreciate that. really do. Um, let's look at our schedule. A B schedule. So, man, they want to kick our ass. We do have Kansas this year. Wow. North Carolina, Georgia. We're ranked 15th, though, to start the season. So... <clears throat> this is a was it Advocare Texas kickoff. So we have a, a neutral site game here. Let's check our home and away. I'm gonna leave this schedule the way it is. It's three and three, four and four, five and five. One of these games has to be on the road. So North Carolina, Georgia, Oregon State, Kansas. Those will be easier games right through there. This is our normal schedule. All right. Looks good to me. Check our pipelines. We have Oklahoma, Texas, Missouri, Florida, Ohio. We'll snag Louisiana since I have an extra pipeline. DLC. Do our red shirts. Set the depth chart, especially for the kick returners, and we'll go look at some of these guys and we'll be done. All right, so the way these progressed, these two are equal. Except here, throw power and throw accuracy. What is injury? They're the same, the stamina is higher. So Jamal Hayes is gonna start as a uh, red shirt freshman. Gold is the power back. So we have two speed guys. So this is the guy I am least worried about. So we'll redshirt the two faster guys. Well, I have two power backs. All right, we'll redshirt the slower one. Let these three guys play. If we get a lot of injuries, we can peel these redshirts off. So we don't need a, well, we need one quarterback, but he doesn't have to be good. We do not need a running back. We do need a fullback. We need at least two wide receivers. Who's got the best route running in hands? That's the guy that's going to play. Both 70. Get some traffic. Route running. All right, we'll let John Walters, since he's from Texas, he gets to play. So we'll redshirt these three guys. And we'll redshirt him, so we'll have freshman, junior, sophomore next year. Don't need a tight end. I'm not going to redshirt him because he's just a backup, and we're going to need another tackle anyway. Worst case is, 
I could redshirt him next year, but we're going to let him play. Six. He's a 79. What do we have at the other guard? He's an 80 center. I'm going to redshirt this guy. Because we have enough that we can play and place him. <clears throat> Alright, left end. Definitely go there. Leave the right end alone. Hit him. Shirt. Yep, it's looking really good. All right, so now I got to double check here. So we have, you only need five. All right. So next year, this is senior, junior, senior, junior, junior, two freshmen. So let's redshirt him so that next year we have senior, junior, senior, junior, three sophomores. So we need senior, senior, junior, junior, three sophomores. We'll need two corners next year. And we have enough guys there that I can redshirt this junior. No, I don't. I, want, I don't want these two guys in the same class, so I'll just leave these guys alone. But I will redshirt this guy. All right, good to go. Let's double check our seniors. That's 10. We have 11, 11 seniors. Sixteen juniors. <laughs> so, out of those sixteen juniors, is there somebody we could replace with an incoming freshman? No, they're all high rated. All right. So let's just win the natty and let them worry about it. I'll have to come back in and make my uh, spreadsheet depth chart off of this page. This I always just hit R1, confirm. But now we're gonna switch Roach and Haynes. And this is why you don't really need to worry about your offensive line too much. I mean, they're, it's gonna put the best guys anyway. Same thing, same thing here, defensive line, defensive tackle, linebackers. It's gonna put the best guys in there. What we need to do is get these kick returners because if I was playing as a user, I'd take the fastest guys with the highest agility and acceleration and put them as a kick returner. But what we want to do here, look at this guy. He's being redshirted, but he's a 93 return guy. Got a tight end as one of our kick returners. A lot of wide receivers running kicks back. No. Nope. This guy. Good there. All right, boys. Let's go look at this recruiting real quick. And then I'll save and we'll be out of here. I just want to take a peek and give you guys a quick peek because I usually do this off camera because it takes me two hours to do this and I don't want to do it on stream and waste time. I'd rather get in and watch gameplay and, and do that. And I know some of you love to watch this, but um, it just makes my stream so long. We're already at 619. We'd be here for eight hours. <clears throat> Looks like we lost an A, but we got some extra A pluses. All right. Team needs 
Nobody on offense. Nobody on defense. Look at that. Our defensive ends are B minuses. Our free safeties are B minuses. Middle linebackers are C because we have so many freshmen. We have no C minuses. So, yeah, one more year of recruiting and we'll have a bunch of Bs on this team. So we have no needs. So we can take whatever we want. What pipelines do we have? Yeah, I remember that. Never mind. Let's look at the Spark 100 and see if anybody's interested in us. We had nine guys. That's 78 overall tight end. Look at those overalls. Not bad. 83 quarterback with 446 speed. If this guy, if we have, if we. We have the pitch. Uh, we could be competitive, but we won't get him. Okeechobee, Florida is where he's from. All right, so let's go look under here. No deal breakers, just the top schools. Minimum three stars. No matches, wow. Top five. Uh, deal breakers, yes, it should be no. Why does it have them? Let's try that again. All right, three-star players are higher with us as the number one school. These people are insistent. I know, I heard the message, fuck off. They're calling me about a medical bill I paid yesterday and I don't have time to deal with them. I'll call them back. All right, we got some stuff to work with. Let's go look at uh, top five. Eighty. We have eighty guys that are at least three star or better that have us number one. Need a fullback. There's a seventy-eight right there. Need some wide receivers. I think I can work with that. We don't need a tight end, but we have this four star, number one. This guy is number, we're fifth on his list, but we're, we're not gonna go after him, we don't need him. It's not a tackle. We have, we're not even looking top 10, we're just looking top five. So we'll have to do some low lock on some of these guys. Deep tackle. Yeah, I heard you. I know I'm busy. Women are so insistent sometimes. I right, need at least two of these guys. Some higher overalls than that. 74 looks good. Strong safety we don't need. Got any athletes? The 78. What is this guy? We're number three on his list. That's a quarterback. C elusive, C carry, C vision, C trekking, A acceleration. Look at that bonus. And we're only uh, 324 points behind. Yeah, Chip Chip Green is uh, gonna be on the list. Six three two zero four. We're just gonna add him on the board right now, so I don't forget about him. All right, I'll come back and uh, put this together later. So let me save this, and we're out of here. We gotta call these people back because they want to get this billing straightened out. All right. We only have 11 seniors, so we really don't have to go crazy. Um, which is good because we can look at what our needs are. And if we only have, you know, 10 guys that we need to go get, we can put a lot of points on guys early in the season and, and nail that shit down. <laughs> All right, boys, it's time to send you off to somewhere else. I've got uh, USN playing marbles. Striking Vikings NBA 2K22. 
Let's go raid Stoner. Um, yeah, we're gonna go raid Stoner. Stoner Gamer, you guys will love the bear. If you don't know who the Stoner is, you'll love him. So, I'm gonna give you a thanks for watching screen and we're gonna go uh, raid Stoner Gamer. Let me get that set up and ready to go. And uh, thanks again. And uh, I will be back sometime Saturday night. So I appreciate everything, and we'll see you later.